terms of it, there's a lot of hate in the heart for each other. Both teams undefeated. I don't think it gets any bigger and better than this. Stay cool. I'm to get a bad Showtime, baby. Our guys are ready for that challenge. It's going to be a good one for sure. The spotlight of college football is on the Red River rivalry. It's something that we don't take lightly. This is what we do. This is what we're on now. Cool and crisp at the Cotton Bowl for a precious day in college football. The 119th Red River rivalry. Here come the Oklahoma Sooners, 5-0 and in a rebuilding year, year two under Brett Venables. Not thinking about the pain of last year's shutout here at the hands of the Longhorns. Underdogs today to this Texas team, also 5-0. It's a business-like team, says Steve Sarkeesian. They keep their emotions in check, but they've already passed one massive test on the road this season, a resounding win over the Crimson Tide in Tuscaloosa. Jatavian Sanders, number zero, looks healthy and ready. That's good news for the Longhorns fans. They're talented tight end. Welcome here, I'm AJ Hawk, Pat McAfee. Obviously, I am sitting here as Pat McAfee is walking off the desk here at College Game Day. This is an absolute electric environment. Oklahoma, Texas, we are absolutely ready for this game. Pat's matriculating his way down the steps. Coming over here, this is pretty amazing in real time to see what this guy is doing. We have Boston Connor here, Todd Schmidt, Darius Butler. Yes, Pat's going to make his way through the crowd. Boys, what do you think is going to happen today? What's, what's going on? There's a lot of chaos right now, early pregame. Yeah, a lot of emotion rivalry game. It's going to be electric. Haven't seen this many fans for both teams in one stadium before. I cannot wait to see what happens here, AJ. Yeah, oh, who Tone Diggs made his way on over here. Come here, Tone Diggs. Let's hear. We're just throwing this thing together. Pretty organic situation for this game. But here he is. Pat's here now. Pat hey, made yep. it here. Hey, good job, man. Hey, buddy. boys. How we doing? Hey, how are you? Good. Hey, how I think we're there, on. Buddy. I think we're on anyway. Yeah. All right, buddy. Good to see you. Good to see you, Pat. What's up, bro? We're going. We're live. I just got the entire way from the set over to here. <laughs> got a chance to chat with a lot of incredible people. Is this not an electric environment? Oh, I assume you've already chit-chatted about it. But I like the fact that if you're on this half of the stadium, you're in the state of Oklahoma. Uh -huh. That's right. Absolutely. You walk 50 yards that way, though, you're in the state of Texas again. Cotton Bowl's a little different here, AJ. This is unbelievable. I've, I've never been here. I've, I've seen it on TV. I've heard about it from, from people that have been. And until you're in here and experience it, I don't think uh, you can really describe this. And we haven't even started yet. We don't even have kickoff yet. And this place is just on fire. I can't wait. It's a Did classic. Did you guys do any fair stuff before this game started while we were doing game day? Did you guys eat any corn dogs? What? Fried Oreos? What? Fried cheesecake? What? What? So for what? Is that the name of that thing? Exactly. Yep, the only yeah. fair stuff we did was on the electric walk from the game day set over to here. Yeah, that was. Tough. This has been pretty. I will say. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me. If my mic's button out or yep. not. Yeah, yep. sound good. Does that sound good. Yeah, yeah you're good. Uh, we're in for a good one. Now I know we're just kind of talking about the environment, the scene, and everything like that. But what's about to take place on this football field is about to be bananas. Darius, we talked about a little college game day. This Texas D line handling the front uh, three for Oklahoma's offensive line to top yeah. three. That's the whole game here today, I think. Yeah, it's going to be in the trenches. You know how these games come down to. But you talked about the motions kind of around this game. Kind of different. I feel like Texas kind of more stoic. Oklahoma kind of takes out into their head coach. So I'm interested to see which team handles the emotions better this afternoon. Quinn Ewers was walking right into the Oklahoma fans with the horns. Oh, yeah, all business. All business. I mean, I'll tell you what. They talked about him kind of being cerebral and, and very calm and There's ready no for this. These microphones are working, right? Yeah. yeah. No, no, we're good. I, I can't that. hear a single thing. It's probably they tell us. They tell us they're working. I believe the mics are working, but the uh, choppiness in the ears is a real issue. Oh, okay, sweet. So, Sorry, I missed the whole thing. Right, we should get over towards the field here yeah. and get this thing going. Boys, we'll be down here. You guys go to Texas. All right, perfect. Sounds good. We'll be down here in Oklahoma. I don't know what time everything's happening. I think we've got a few minutes until kickoff. We do have a hey, new game we're doing for the first time. There's something special about it. Sometimes yes. noon early games can feel a bit jaded. So 
Sorry, 11 a.m. local. 11 a.m. local, but this is nothing of a JV game. This thing is feels like the, the biggest of, of biggest events you can have in college football. AJ and I were talking the other day, D, but there's some college football games that kick off at like 10 a.m. local. Hate it. Absolutely. Hate it. NFL games, 1 o'clock kick off. Sometimes those are even like a little, oh, what are you yeah. going to do? The noon game. Yeah. It's 11 a.m. local. These people have been ready to go, and I feel like this is one that the players have been looking forward to for the entire year. You don't need any extra juice, even though it's already in abundance. These, these are the ones. You guys know a lot about rivalry games. These are the ones you get juiced up for. I saw you talk about the rivalries that you should do on game day. You make a play in this one that changes this, that wins the game, Remember that loses it. And forever. Forever. And both of these fan bases are history. Hell yeah. I love how close the, the crowd is to the field, right. too. They're about to kick off. Let's go. Let's go ahead and get started with this thing. As the Texas Longhorns will receive in the state of Oklahoma down here. Half the crowd, oh, part orange. Half the crowd. Crimson and cream. We are off and running for the 2023 Red River robbery. Fakes a throwback. Almost a face mask. Ooh. Tackle at the 20. Texas will be starting first and 10 from about their own 20. Quinn Ewers now has an opportunity to continue to build on a campaign this year. They're talking about him potentially number three quarterback drafted. Oh, we're right in the middle of the carry. <laughs> Jesus, wait. Five guns went off as soon as the ball is returning. What a move. I was standing out here pregame. Caught me on, caught me by surprise a few times. I was right next to it. Yeah. Almost put my pants on game day. Quinn oh, Ewers no. with Brooks flanking to his left. He's been averaging 160 yards a game last three games. Gets it out to Xavier Worthy. Stiff on nothing. You do an easy completion there for Quinn, and obviously Oklahoma is ready. Quick, quick, easy completion for your quarterback, and obviously get the ball in your best player's hands out of the edge. Worthy. Uh, Sanders kind of missed the block there. I know he came into this game a little banged up. Got to keep, keep a close eye on him prior to yeah. future first round tight end. He's banged up right now, definitely hobbled. A lot of conversation got, about zero. Sanders' around, yeah. his gait is uh, quite a limp one. He's already, yeah, he's trying to, man, man he's gutting out, but that looks already tough. A guy with a gun and a paddle just stood in front of him. Quinn Ewers with nothing but time, and shot cut, oh. throws a pick. Jumps the route, Quinn Ewers puts it in the guy's hands. First and ten in the red zone for Oklahoma. We are not able to see the replay, but we saw it live yeah. and in person. Jump route, a little bit of a miss. Yeah. Try to get another easy completion. Instead, Oklahoma's defense says, we will have none of it. Oklahoma all over. When you back up like this, you can expect some quick pass game. You saw that's the plan, trying to get out of the shadow of your own end zone. A great job by that left corner right there, jumping that slant route. I have no idea where we're supposed to stand. It's our first time at the Cotton Bowl. <laughs> Gentry Williams getting an early pick in the rivalry game. I don't think you should be there. I don't think he should be there. We should be using uh, We don't want you to get hurt, camera guy. Dylan Gabriel swings it out to the right. Gain of two there, AJ. Feels like both teams have the same idea. Let's get an easy completion. Absolutely. Let's get comfortable. Also, this is this is telling. This is where the game is going to be won or lost, the red zone. Oklahoma gets there more than anybody in the Big 12 in Texas. Direct snap to the running back. Ooh. Nice little misdirection from Oklahoma there. I was trying to, before they, they're going tempo on us, but I was saying, Texas only lets about 10% of the, their opponent's time to come in the red zone to score touchdowns, which is pretty rare. Our cameraman is going to blow an ACL, potentially oh, standing up. where he's standing, but I appreciate his commitment. Ooh. This is some grind and pound for a first down Ooh. on third down for Oklahoma, Debo. Fresh set of downs here, uh, expecting to uh, continue with the tempo. Keeping out all those stoops here in the slot. Dylan Gabriel been around too. I think this is 43rd start at quarterback. There's a freshman, Nick Anderson. Stoops is obviously a dog. Ooh. A little bit behind Anthony there, leading receiver, I do believe, for the Oklahoma Sooners. A little bit missed time. Dylan Gabriel has been cerebral this year, AJ Hall. Huh? Unbelievable. 75% of his passes completed. That's just unreal to think about. So today will be his biggest test of the year, no question. Second and goal on the 10. Gonna have to score for anything to end other than a kick here. Then Gabriel shotgun flank motion. Looks that way. Ooh. Keeps it. Oh. Stay. Touchdown, Dylan Gabriel in the Red River robbery end. Gunfire as Oos jogs right in front of our face. 
okay, oh, fine, yeah. too. He just said, hell yeah, Pat. I picked Texas and gave that apologize. That means very big, Mr. Everett. They just came out and outpowered this Texas yeah. defensive line that we've been complimenting since the beginning because how damn good they are. Yeah, quarterback run in the red zone trying to set the tone early. Oklahoma, man. Also, on third down to pick up the first, they just ran right at him. Power. We're going right at the Trying to set the tone, huh? Hey, Absolutely. You couldn't ask for a better start. Turnover on defense. Offense turns it into seven, pinning this extra point. Great play design there. Had some eye candy, motion to the left. Looked like he was going for the pass. QB draw right up the middle. Well, gotcha, gotcha. Got a lot of guns. There they are. A lot of gunfire here at the Cotton Bowl. Explosive Red River robbery thus far. Seven zip Oklahoma after a turnover from Quinn Ewers. How will he respond after this? Welcome back to the Cotton Bowl here in Dallas, Texas. Oklahoma takes a quick seven zip lead and a little bit of a surprise. Texas will be getting the ball back. We'd like to send it down to the other end zone with the boys, Tone Diggs, Connor, and Ty. How's that Texas fan base sounding after the electric start for Oklahoma? Uh, they're pretty quiet, Pat. I'm going to be honest. I believe Bevo took a massive dump after Oklahoma <laughs> just scored. So it, the vibes aren't great down here right now in the state of Texas. Not to mention, Pat, you got the cannons going off, but the uh, the Texas band looks a little glum right now as well. We got so many gunshots in our face down here. Texas needs to get something going. Big return. All right, we're all past the 25. That's a little bit of a game. What will Quinn Ewers answer with here? Maybe we do something simple. Get the ball out of his hands, get a completion, maybe gather some yards. Maybe even run. Let's see if we can get some movement, get ahead of the stick, stay on schedule, and then find a little opportunity here where you can take a shot to Xavier Worthy. We saw that change the game last time we all were on the field with Texas. Jonathan Brooks, running back for Texas, has averaged 160 yards over the last three games. They need to get the run game going. Now, granted, we've only seen two plays for Quinn. One of them was a pick. Now, here we go. Ground and pound. Game of nothing, seemingly, from our angle. Hey, Tone Diggs. Yeah, Feels like Oklahoma's went in the trenches early, pal. Very, very early, which is kind of surprising, but we were watching them pregame. Like, they're just as big as Texas in the, in the front seven, so. I mean, they're in the Venable's second year defense. Uh, they're stepping up real big. There's another example. He's big 95. Gets his first sack. They're calling they a lot of scrimmage, AJ. Yeah, they really are. That was the question coming in. We know this Oklahoma secondary has played very well all year. Right there, there was nobody open. Quinn Ewers had to move around the pocket and ultimately gets taken down. Yeah, he wanted a shot to Xavier Worthy down the field, but it looks like the starting center, Jake Majors, is down in pain right now. So. That'll be another issue for this offensive line that didn't has not had the greatest start. Yeah, I mean, it's been a tough start, but maybe the reason why DeJon Terry got in there so fast is because the center got injured. Very rarely. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to a break here. We hope Cuz feels better. This is not a good start here for Texas. Can't. Welcome back to the Cotton Bowl here at the Texas State Fair in lovely Dallas, Texas. It's the Red River rivalry in it has got off to quite a slow start for the Texas Longhorns, who before the break lost their starting center. Now in its center, the backup, Connor Robertson out of Austin, Texas. Redshirt freshman, welcome to the Red River shootout. This is Austin Connor, Boston Connor. Yeah, big fan of his, Pat. And as soon as he came in the game, I don't know how, but I got tape on my fingers. I feel like I'm part of the Red River rivalry. <laughs> yeah, well, Boston Connor's at the end zone that they're trying to get to. Austin Connor, redshirt freshman, about to snap the Ewers in shotgun. What does Sark decide to do with an offense that has not been able to get going? When yours with time, pressure, uh -oh. shot put, completion to Brooks, Brooks working, game of six. <laughs> That was a hell of an off script play by Quinn Ewers there, Eva. Yeah, a nice rally and tackle on that hit. That's Stutzman? I think it was Stutzman. Stutzman's a dog. Leads lead the Big 12 to tackle. Three and out here for Texas with an injury after their first series was one completion for no yards, then an interception. To say it started poorly for Texas would be an understatement. Now we got a uh -oh. fake punt oh. Oh. directly to the PP. Jordan Whittington down the sidelines. 
special teams is going to be a factor is what everybody assumes. And here early, the Texas Longhorns get a boost from a fake punt, A.J. Hawk. Gutsy, gutsy call right there by Sark and his staff of man. Perfect timing, beautiful execution right here as well. If you look at it, the punter was offset to the right. He was facing like he was going to punt it to the right. Snapper's ass is clearly Ooh. facing towards the PP. Somebody could have potentially got a read on that, but it happened too quick, too fast. Quinn Ewers is back on the field. You think that was a check right there? Back, so we're back on the field. Obviously, they needed that play, but now we're in this alumni section, so shot. I wouldn't mind a shot here. Looks like they're thinking about it. Quinn Ewers scrambling. Oh. Check down. When he was taking a couple shots, they talk about the loss of weight and how he's more mobile. He does look fit compared to what he used to look like. And he's really playing his best ball, even though it hasn't looked like it this day. Yeah, he has, but it starts where quarterback plays, it starts with the protection. And they got to keep him clean. He hasn't done a great job. We've seen two now, two times where he wanted to go deep with the ball and couldn't keep his eyes down the field. So that's going to be an issue they're going to have to fix. Cannot have a three and out after a fake punt. Second and ten. Handed off to Jonathan Brooks, a lot of space, a lot of opportunity, gain of nine. Third and two. Need a first down desperately, this Texas Longhorns offense. Handed back off to Jonathan Brooks, makes one man miss, two man miss. Can't get it though, we got a fourth and short. Let's assume it was four down territory from the beginning here, AJ. Absolutely. We can see a push push like the NFL. Got a lot of meat coming on the field right now. We do. Bringing in the freshman at running back, Baxter. So we'll see. Huddle, not trying to run any hurry up. This is big football versus big football. Quinn Ewers going out left and wide receiver. Running back at shotgun. In motion. Handoff. Wildcat. Delayed throw. Tim Tebow. First down. Texas Longhorns. Ball is out. Oh, no. Ball is out. Oh, no. after a little trickery on the fake punt and a little trickery with Quinn Ewers at wide receiver. Tim Tebow jump throw, beautifully executed on fourth and short. And Brent Venable's squad says, hey, cowboy ahead. We're taking the ball back. Stat. What a play from this Oklahoma defense who already has one interception on the day. Guns are going off. Replay has been shown. What a ball, what by the way, from ball. number 17. To Gunner Helm. Way to get it out. Way to rally to the ball. Was that knee down? Was that right knee? Let's keep it out. Oh, oh that ball's, ball's already loose. moving. Already moving. Already oh, moving. Oh, no. Ooh. I don't think they're going to overturn that. Yeah. Oklahoma gets another first and 10 after a huge turnover. They're going to look at it. Is he under control? He's down. If, that if ball the, sideways. If the ball is sideways, but so, it's not bobbling, you can still have control, so if, correct? If you Ooh. lose control, and then you gain control, are you in control? Like, if because he, he lost control, that yeah. some bitch turned sideways. But, he, then, but he, then he gained control again. This. Like, sideways is a loaf of bread. This control. Yeah, I don't know. Like I think he, once it starts bobbling, and it ends up coming out, and they call him the field, I think you got to stick But with. it feels like he got it back. There with a nice plane. Nah, hell no. I don't know. Oh, At the yeah. very end, it looks like it almost started to move. But his knee is, man, this is going to be a big call. Let's I can tell you the do. Texas fans down here definitely think uh, he's down. They cheer every single time they show the replay. And we'll let you know the Oklahoma fans down here, they cheer every single time they show the replay <laughs> as well. So it feels like house divided, which this place is. Everybody thinks it's their ball. And to be honest, this is when I do not envy at all a ref who has to make this decision because they're going to get booed regardless. Yeah, what a cool play, though. Gunner Helm, the tight end, kind of yeah. gets lost, acts like he's blocking for a beat or two, and then slides behind the defense. Hey, what a throw. Let's I mean, put great. that thing in it's a, a window. Big, it's a big moment great to come in either. and all of a sudden just make a perfect throw like that in fourth and one. Oklahoma sideline celebrating. What do you see down there, Ty? Well, it does look like, uh, you know, Texas thinks that ball uh, was not out early. I mean, it looks like they think his knee was down. I don't know, though. I mean, if this goes the other way, Oklahoma, I'll tell you what, for everyone saying, you know, they were going to get bullied up front, they got to be feeling pretty good here, Pat. Yeah, I think so, Ty. I really, Oklahoma's going oh. bananas. Oh, that's Texas. No, Oklahoma's Texas, 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 Texas is going bananas. Texas is pointing. <laughs> They're all right, clapping exactly. down here. See, it's like he regained possession mid-fall. I'm, I'm excited for the, the explanation. 
from the umpire, the referee. Yeah, and have a little moxie too, ref. Please do. Because we're all kind of confused, so don't be scared to say, in real time, we're trying to get it right. We've seen it move, it then stopped. Once again, why are they looking at that screen? <laughs> I mean, we got 19 other screens I could look at that are much bigger. Look, at, there's two of them, literally two screens on that one screen that are bigger than that tiny screen. But he's dialed in. Somebody shades. He's got his little Xbox controller. Slow mo, fast forward, rewind. Is his shin down? We don't know. Is the ball back in their possession? We don't know. What a call here, Tone. This is a big one setting the tone. It's huge. I mean, this could be what a 14-point swing at least. Uh, you know, if Oklahoma goes down and, and moves the ball like they have been, this is huge early in this game. Hey, uh, con man. Yes, sir. If this was to be an Oklahoma turnover, which it's almost like his knee knocked it out after he regained, con man, if they were to regain it, uh, no, Oklahoma's already sending their defense back on the field. Yep, yep. Right. Texas ball. Yep. Texas will oh, remain wow. waiting. We gather the ball. That's that's when he goes up on his down, part of the ball coming to loose, so he first down at the 14-yard line. The clock will start on my signal. No real moxie, but everything we saw, he, but he regained possession, which I like the fact that football has that now. That's yeah. what I will remember uh, forever from this. Exactly. That's what I take away from this as well. That's a big play. A lot of momentum now. This is two fourth down conversions on this drive. You got to get six here for Texas. A little pre-snap confusion here on the Oklahoma defense. They are talking a ton. Ball on the 14. Can Texas get in, in the paint? Quinn here's a shotgun, motions across. Delay. End around. Wow. Hey, I like what Quinn's doing right now. Might have found something with a little misdirection, a little razzle dazzle here at the clock. Yeah, not, not a lot of yards gain. They're running side to side. Oklahoma is running early on defense. Hey, they're keeping up with them, aren't they? Yeah. Absolutely. Look at Oklahoma's defensive line. Obviously, when you're a little bit smaller, you run a bunch of games and stunts, try to get some movement across their face and get the big guys for Texas offensive line up front, get them moving their feet out in space a little bit. Texas is pulling out all the stops on this drive, a fake punt, a trickery play, Ooh. and now, oh, right in front of the oh, goal, interception! Oh. Football God said not so fast. Oh. Wow. Tips and overthrows. was about to make this thing 7-7. Wow. Tips and overthrows with a pick by Doby, 15. And I mean, Oklahoma, they just keep stepping up and finding ways to put the fire out and make big plays. Hey, the, the moxie of Oklahoma, the confidence is radiating. It always feels like the ball goes your way whenever you do things right. This Oklahoma team is buzzing. You said there was no miscommunication after the review, boys. What have you seen from Oklahoma down there up close and personal on that pick? Yeah, Bowman Jr., Pat, before on the end around. He got a little chippy after the play, comes back right after and laid out to Tavion Sanders. What a play there for Oklahoma. You mentioned it, tips and overthrows. Got to have Got to be careful throwing that ball across the middle of the field. First and 10, Oklahoma. Texas's defense now has the longest field that they've had to defend thus far. Yeah. We're only five minutes into this first quarter, and it feels like a thousand things have already happened. <laughs> we got Wildcat. Dylan Gabriel was out, now he's back under center. Pitch, jet sweep. Wow. Massive play from the Texas safety. It's hard to see all the way down here. <laughs> yeah, <it's tough. laughs> Boys, if you want to start getting the people's names down there, that'd be great. We got no camera. And was, I'll tell you what, I don't have 2020. That was Barron there. Outside linebacker, I believe. Ooh, okay. Texas tightening up. Remember, in Oklahoma's first drive, they were able to pick up a third and one, aim score, running the ball right at Texas' defense strength, which is right in the middle of that defensive line. Now we got a third and 13 back up. Texas defense can steal bone momentum right back from Oklahoma. Young Gabriel and Shaka. Strike oh. over the middle. Off target the scoops. Now we got a fourth down for Boomer Sooner, and you're punting out of the state of Texas. Boys, how loud is it about to be for old Cuz who's going to try to murder a ball and flip a field here? Yeah, it is insanely loud back here, Pat, and also very, very little room to work with. Um, in this situation, are you pinning your ears back and sending everyone at him? 
Yeah, if I'm uh, Texas, I'm certainly going to get a little pressure on him. But if I'm the... Uh... Oh, no! Excessive celebration. These refs were not about. Yeah, he so, took a bridge. He took his helmet yep. off, so I think that's an automatic one. But this was this was awesome. Right in front of us. Hey, Sue him. <laughs> Just oh, blocked the punt and scored a touchdown in the Red River rivalry. Oh. That never gets to happen. You know, when you block a punt, I think you go on to win like 72% of the time or something like that. That's that. I believe. It was a touchdown. That After the play, Alex Rushmore and Kong got Texas for the 37 for removing his helmet. That 50 year old coach will reinforce. That's an understandable penalty. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Live your life, pal. That is really yeah, tell you what, your first. life. Bevo's been standing still all game after that block punt. He is about to raise hell. Yeah, Bevo's ready to do it at all times. <laughs> they say they're going to put that on the kickoff. Extra point here for Auburn. He, uh, wow, what a block by Crawford. What I mean, just block. that that ball was going to be absolutely slaughtered, too. Kick is good. This thing's 7-7 because of special teams for the Texas Longhorns. We have a we have a replay of you boys right in the middle of that thing. We'll see it on the other side, 7-7 here in Texas. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to the Cotton Bowl here in Dallas, Texas. It's a Red River rivalry, and we're about six minutes of playtime into this, and we already have a fake punt, a blocked punt, a pick, a couple of touchdowns. It's 7-7, seven, seven, Oklahoma in Texas, and a game that's been played every year since 1929. Now, this game's going to look a little bit different in the future because they're going to be joining a new conference. Joining us now, the commissioner of the SEC, Commissioner Sankey. It's going to be back, Pat. Missed the tank top. Yeah, last well, time, I, anytime I come to Texas, I got to do some real Texas stuff. I got the bolo. I got the bo <laughs> belt buckle. Now, let's talk about, the, is this your first time? This is your first time at the Red River rivalry, and what does this make you think about the future of the SEC with these two teams? I have admired the game from afar. This is my first Just ran to reverse. Whoa. Special teams trickery everywhere. It's electrifying, Commissioner Sankey. But this is, is this your first time here, and what are your thoughts on this being in the future in your conference? Well, the scene outside coming in, the scene inside for kickoff after is special. I, I told the, new, the news media upstairs it's familiar. We have a few intense games right now in the SEC. I'm going to College Station later today, uh, but I'm really excited about our future as a 16-team league. Yeah, I think you getting it right with Texas and Oklahoma has continued to look better and better, especially with both their football teams being all the way back. Whenever you were thinking about adding them into the SEC, what were the main factors and why were they the perfect schools to join your committee? Well, first you want people who want to be associated with you. I'm not a recruiter. They wanted to be to see in the SEC. Forward or uh, they expressed that. We had to work through our process, but you look at our geographic footprint stays very tight. You actually restore rivalry. So one of the things that we're doing in our expansion is bringing back games that have mattered for a long, long time that haven't been played for a while. You know, Oklahoma and Missouri were in the Big Eight. Texas, oh. Texas and A&M a and have been a uh, long rival. So that's part of the excitement. AJ has a question for you, Commissioner. How great is your life? How great is your job? <laughs> You're going to College Station after this? Well, it's I have a pretty good time of year for you. Yeah, no, it is. This is pretty special to be a part of. I told both university presidents I wanted to be a part of it right before they joined. Uh, I'm really excited today, headed down to College Station, A&M hosts Alabama, and a huge game for us. That place will be packed. It'll be just as intense. We've got a set of other games. Uh, it's good to be a part of the SEC. Hey, great environments are what make college football special. Whenever you see that this thing is split 50-50 neutral game, it has to give you chills. You still love everything about college football, I assume, every single day you love? I, 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 I'm here with Ross Dellinger from Yahoo. The bands are coming in. The Oklahoma fans are booing the Longhorn band. I'm yeah. like, that doesn't happen in the NFL. That's unique to college football. 
the camaraderie, the rivalries, the intensity is something special. It's been the flyover gave me the oh. chills too. Darius has a question. Yeah. Now, years past, Greg, usually by this time of year, we already know who's going to win the championship. Georgia, Bama. It's a little more parity around the college landscape right now. How do you feel about that as the SEC After commissioner? Review, well, it's great competition. I, you people assume things in the past. The reality is you never know week to week. I'll go back to when Joe Burrow played at LSU, that yep. undefeated run. Literally, week to week, we saw playoff games in our league leading to the championship. It'll be that way this year. Maybe there's a loss or two we haven't experienced, yep. but it's still the same kind of passion and expectations to be in Atlanta. Hey, people are saying the SEC is nice deep this year, Commissioner. Yeah, they said that in 2019, and LSU ran the table as well, so we're going to be okay. And Georgia are the back-to-back -back champion right now. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, Kirby actually smart came out and said, people are questioning our depth. Why don't you come play in the SEC? These two schools have chosen to do that. There was a review. I don't know what it was for. Uh, it was a forward that. pass on the reverse. Oh, uh, can't do that. That's cheating. I like the trickery of special teams. This game has been electrifying, Commissioner. You're only oh, it is. We're nine or six minutes into this first quarter, and there's already been a thousand things. I think people place. have lost their voices already. Yeah. I mean, that's a, there's a lead up to this. You have to train yourself because it is loud. I'm used to Florida and Georgia playing in Jacksonville, where it's split goalpost to goalpost. This is 50 to 50. Hey, will you be adding any more teams? That's not my plan. Ever? Oh, well, you never know. Stoops just took a big shot on the sideline there. Nice completion there from Dylan Gabriel to suit. But what is the, what do you think like five years looks like? The, the, answer, the answer to your question is what's happened the last two years has proven our decision making to be really well considered and the right move. Other people have made decisions after that. We, we added football programs with great histories. You look at the women's athletics commitment, look at what our baseball is going to be like. You need to be I've on the sideline of a baseball game in the SEC in the future. AJ has a question for you, Kamesh. When you sit here and you look around this beautiful stadium and what they're doing, are there other places or other opportunities we could have games like this, neutral site games possibly around the, the country that we don't see right now? You know, what makes college football special is what, what happens on campus. This is unique. What happens in Jacksonville, I think, is unique. Uh, we've always honored those traditions if our school wants want to do so. Texas A&M and Arkansas play over at AT&T Stadium. That was last week's game. So we'll honor that if the schools want to create that kind of tradition. But the impact on campus of college football is one of, one of its true strengths. Have you met Bevo yet, that big-ass cow? I walked up after a disagreement between me and, uh, and His uh, in Georgia. Bulldog a couple of years ago in the Sugar Bowl, so I give him a wide berth. Kamish, we appreciate the hell out of you for joining us. Good luck and continued success down there in the Southeastern Absolutely. Conference, and congrats on getting these two incredible programs into the SEC. Ooh, we got uh, an exciting sweet. future. Hey, That's football sweet. gods are on Oklahoma's side. That oh, tip yeah. is completion. <laughs> the other tip on the other way, pick. Feels early, it's Oklahoma. We yep. appreciate you. are doing Absolutely. a great job. Thank, you. Thank also, you, guys, Greenberg. Thank you very much. Hey, boys at the end, on the other side, we can never forget Whenever they were trying to say football can't happen, this man stared in every single camera and said, we're playing football. That's right. <laughs> so we Thank appreciate you. you forever, Kamish. Have a good one, boss. Thank you. Hell yeah, Kamish. Beast. You're the man. Hey, he said we ain't at. Did no, you hear that? No need to. No, they, they are set. Adding these two. Think about this environment right here. Oh. Bunner just trying to get it out as quick as possible. Oh, no. It's a little bit of a shank off the outside of his foot. Not a good one. Texas has great field position. Game 7-7. Seven, seven. We thought the football gods are maybe on Oklahoma's side because the tips and the picks and everything that's been taking place. But here, Texas has a short field now ready to go, Darius. Yeah, and we talked to the great Chris Fowler earlier, and he told us in these type of games, special teams always show up. The, the, the fluffs, the big plays, and you already see early in this game, special teams already showing up. Ty Schmidt, what's your prediction on what happens for this drive for Quinn Ewers and this Texas Longhorns team? Well, I'll tell you what, Pat, I think Texas has found their mojo, they've found their momentum. I, I fear for the Sooners that they're gonna storm right down and punch this thing in. I, I mean, we talked about it early, everything going in Oklahoma's favor. It looks like those tides have turned big time. Matthew McConaughey's been summoning the power of the sun through his body. Illegal He's on the sideline. The stars are out. was covered up as an eligible lover and then shifted to an eligible position. Even worse. A five -yard penalty an illegal formation on a punt that you shank. That's not good. Nice. <laughs> Things are not going well in the special teams department for Oklahoma. They give up a fake punt. They give up a block punt. And they have a shank with an illegal formation. 
and now Texas is at the 50. Whittington, kind of a distraction, give the ball to Brooks up the middle there. Like the run game, A.J. Hawk. Love the run game. Texas obviously wants to continue to try to pound the ball, but Oklahoma's defense early on is stepping up. We got the band right behind us. Good rhythm out of the upper We got twins. We got a couple rifles over here. Oh, a, a, lot of guns, a lot of guns around. A lot of guns. They're loud, too. These sons of bitches, really. <laughs> I do. Quinn, yours, and shotgun. Second and ten. Good field position. Fake, roll left. Check down, Whittington, shake, razzle, dazzle. Right. Gain of six. I think. Great pass, let's see. We're just waiting on the scoreboard operator to tell us where it is. <laughs> just about five or six. Third down. Can't be third and 11. Yeah. What's the score we're doing? Third and four. Quinn Ewers in shotgun where he's been living. Oh, Pump oh. fake. I'll take Get that. Out. Ooh. First down. How did he hold on to that ball? <laughs> yeah, hey, that was like a full pump fake. But great job uh, being mobile again. You talked about it earlier, Pat. After losing that weight, getting in better shape. You see him using it. His line is banged up. Now they're going with a little tempo a la Oklahoma. Quick snap. Oh! Just got real windy on the field. I think it caught the ball with bad grip from Quinn Ewers. That thing looked like it was a bottle rocket. Got to fly. Offense, number five, five-yard penalty. They were trying to go too fast. Yeah. Sometimes you go too fast, you fool yourself, AJ. You fool <laughs> yourself. Both these offenses, we see this tempo early. I, I, I want to see if they keep it up for four quarters. That is a part of Oklahoma's strength. And remember, Tone Diggs, Oklahoma's beat every team by at least 14. They normally step on throats, and I think that's because of their pace. Now Texas is trying to do it back to them. Yeah, they, have, they haven't played the competition that Texas has, but like they haven't let off the gas either, ever. Missed tackle. Doesn't matter. The boys are swarming for Oklahoma. They are D-Bone. flying around. They take uh, the identity of their coach, Venables. And another thing with Venables, he has a, a great system of uh, maybe commandeering some of those signals from the other team. So, so that's why you see Texas huddling up a little more in this game. And that's a well-known thing. That's no uh, inside I, I guess this is just like his thing. He yeah. is like an Ernie Adams somewhere in his, in his team mm -hmm. that learns what the other team's doing quickly. Yep. and has like a special talent of deciphering what plays are. Ooh. So it's a real strategy, and they must have Oh, that. way to keep him up. Oh. Hey, Quinn Ewers. I think they held him up yeah. a little bit. His <laughs> offensive line held him up a little That was a tough fall right there, though. That's a weapon, though, if you have somebody who's able to decipher play calls quickly in the first quarter of a game. Absolutely. I mean, and, and also get the other team is sitting there worried about their signals and everything, too. So just give yeah. them one more Good thing that they have to think about. Big Dejon Terry down, or does Sean Terry down? Had a sack earlier. I don't think Quinn's had his first look open yet all game. You know, but he he has had a little bit of time, though, in that shotgun, and then other times he's got absolutely none. You know, I, it's been like hit or miss here. Been under pressure, but then mm -hmm. he's also had the time to make some plays. This Oklahoma defense is flying. They, Venables <laughs> is known to be... You know, unpredictable. It yep. feels like that's happening right now. Yeah, they're moving around. And uh, like you said, he's had a little bit of time in that pocket. He hasn't had the time yet to really look downfield and take some shots. Last time we were on the field with Texas, and they beat Bama in Bama, a lot of downfield shots kind of opened that game up, and they haven't had the opportunity to do that yet. It's, it's been horizontal all, yep. all game today so far. They haven't taken many vertical shots. That's where the run game obviously mm -hmm. would help open things up, suck those linebackers up. Yep. Everyone on the second level, trying to drop it over top. Number eight there, deep tackle for Oklahoma. Jonah Laulu out of Las Vegas, 6'5", 290. Woo. Number eight, used to be a wide receiver probably. Now playing deep tackle. Quinn Ewers a shotgun, got time. Rolls to his right, sees something, nothing, pump fake. Oh, oh, oh. Hit late. Wait, hit. They Did call he get it? hit late? Boys, he got hit. No flag. He's got to no He's got to sell it. Hey, it's a Red River shootout. You'll see. Maybe had a step or a step and a half before it hit him. He's got to sell that. Come on, Quinn. Yeah, Quinn just got to go full body Shawn Michaels sell yep. right into that sideline. Right? He yeah. had he had Jordan Quinn wide open. He was kind of running like an over route from uh, from Quinn's left to his right. The way that he was scrambling, he was wide open. Ooh. He just couldn't see it. Sanborn out for a punt. Does appear to be lined up over the center this time. Offset to the right. 
So where's he kicking? Probably to his right, if I had to guess. Yep. Didn't turn over, ends up in the middle. Fair catch, Oklahoma's ball. 7-7, 348 left in the first quarter wow. here at the Red River rivalry. All of a sudden, a lot of clock just disappeared. Let's see what these teams are. Now they're both kind of settled in. Here we go. Now we get to see what this week's preparation, what it did for you. Obviously, the first, like, 15, 20 plays of the game, everyone's pretty juiced up, adrenaline. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little different. Now we get to see where they're at. It took 45 minutes to get through the first 10 plays of both sides with the turnovers and special teams plays and this and that. Now we get to see the gameplay. Now we get to see the matchups. Now the boys are settled in. Now we got a Red River rival. Motion out of the backfield. Dylan Gabriel with the run. Scored a touchdown on that play earlier. This time, Gaines. These defensive has shown up early. The, the touchdown that we have from Oklahoma, short field early on, quick, like you mentioned, the QB draw. Touchdown from Texas on the block punt. So the defense is not really giving up much thus far. Second and five. Kind of gets mauled up there. Some ugly yardage. I like yardage. I like that there's going to be a trenches warfare out here at the Cotton Bowl. Right here with this end zone view, too. We have the perfect view of everything going on there in the trenches. These guys are battling. Big dudes. Who's going to win the day? Whoever wins the line of scrimmage, more power football yep. out of Oklahoma. Saying, we know that the middle of your defensive line is your strength. We want to attack it. Go run it right down the middle. Let's just try set. to stay. Yeah, just try to stay ahead of these things, especially in a rivalry game. And then you dial it up to get patient, lose that patience, take a big shot down the field. Second and eight. Another run. Pat, I wonder if, so Sweat's out of the game right now. I wonder if they see that, if it's like an automatic run up the middle while he's out of the game. They're deep on the deep line, but Sweat is certainly a game changer. Yeah, certainly a game changer. Murphy out there as well. Big 95 Alfred Collins in the middle might be the biggest human I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, he's gigantic. He's dwarfing other big human beings. Third down and four here for Oklahoma. Texas wasn't oh, able to get God. first down, bad snap. And it's good question. Dylan Gabriel gets it, throws it away. Fourth and four after the miscommunication, poor snap. Sarkeesian's on the ref's ass on the sideline for something. Pat, so while the commissioner was on, there was two snaps that caught Dylan Gabriel off guard yep. because of the noise down here. And then that one finally happened. Now remember, that half of the stadium <laughs> is the state of Texas. Yes. This half of the stadium is the state of Oklahoma. So it's tough sledding for communication when you're in the oh, other team's oh, side. Wow. There's another blocked punt for Texas, who's bringing it. Oh, pick it up. Got a couple flags. That's always the roll of the dice whenever you're trying to block a punt. Uh oh. Do you run into the kicker? Do you rough the kicker? Or do you block the punt? Special teams for Texas has won the day, but here it appears as if it's extended a drive for Oklahoma. What happened down there, boys? We didn't have a good view on it. Yeah, I don't think it was roughing, Pat. I think it was running into the kicker. He tr he tried to do his best to kind of avoid it, but like you said, after, you know, you, you take one kicker. earlier, I'm sure his eyes seven. got pretty wide, and he was trying Five to pick that thing off. Fourth and four, down. that'll be a first down. Yep. Running into the kicker, five-yard penalty. Seven came from all the way out on the edge, too. They had, a, they had a plan, obviously. You know, sometimes with these punts that they do the rollout for, mm -hmm. you lose protection at some point. If you're considered a runner Ooh, yeah. instead of a punter, so it must have been in between those lines where he still gets protection, gets the running into. I appreciate the aggressive special teams out of Texas here early because it uh, benefited them. But that was devastating for their defense, who thought they got off the field, and now they're right back out there. Nah. Bill Gabriel in the center probably got back on the same page. Hate that type of stuff. Yeah. Not a great feeling if you're a defensive player. Get a stop, big stop right there, and you're right back on the field. Two punt plays have gotten first downs today. One punt play has gotten a touchdown. Punts are the most electrifying plays in football. It's research. Dylan Gabriel. Ooh. Play action after a turnover. Ooh. Deep ball in a bucket from the cerebral Oos. Dylan Gabriel. It's Jalil 
for Farouk out there. Wide stacks the formation. Usually that's a run for the box. That's a box read for the quarterback, either a handoff or a screen. They took a shot down there to Farouk. Big time play. Back on the ball. Got him gassed, got him second guessing. Let's run it right at him. Texas. <laughs> Huge, <laughs> huge tackle Damn. by number 93. That sweat back in the game, and uh, huge. That is a big. He landed huge. all of his weight on top of him as well. He is 362 listed. Let's go 370 game day. He had to run all the way down the field with that long ball. Catch his breath and make a big time tackle. This way to put the fire out here Absolutely. on this Texas defense after giving up the long shot. Absolutely. Rally and tackle. This is where you bow up. You give up that long shot, but they didn't get in the end zone. Now you bow up and hopefully hold the three if you're a defense right here. Three is better than seven. Third and ten. Another Texas Longhorn down. I think Catalan went down at the end of that play. Yep. Texas lost their center on their second series. That's a big deal. Yes. He's been around. He's a vet. Anytime you lose your center, a lot of times they help with protection calls and everything else. I heard he was in the tunnel trying to test it. It was something with an ankle. Wow, you got really? You got sources? No, yeah, we got little people. We got little like got little you know, people. Little sources. Oh, AJ. Whoa, whoa. What AJ. is Come on. sources? Hey, little people, big cotton bowl. Yeah, exactly. Hell yeah, it's a beautiful thing. There's no little job. Uh -oh. No job too small. Boy, is it cra crazy they fit? What, 96, 97,000 here? These people are sitting on top of each other. We were talking about earlier, there is not a booth, or a, sorry, a suite in this place. This is old. So this is 90,000, is that what they said? I'm pretty sure I thought I thought- Bleacher seating, you know? He could jam down. Believe no seats. No. I would not have guessed that. I, I would not have guessed 90,000. Uh, Cuz here has a bleeding right hand, I guess. It's a hand injury for old buddy that was down for Texas. It looked like it was more than that. Well, I don't know, it's a Zito, just came in now. It's a bleeding right hand. So we are not doctors, but feels like if you're down in a hunch, <laughs> something took place. Seemed Oklahoma to be has a massive third down here, though. Ball in the 22, in field goal range, but it is gusty. It is gusty down here. The starting corner, Ryan Watts, is out. So I'll be interested to see if Dylan Gabriel takes a shot here on third and 10. And his replacement, Holmes, in the nine out there, the left corner. Had the deep ball to Farouk to start this drive, and then the Texas defense has shut it down since then. Massive money down for Oklahoma. This is a alternate cast. The actual cast is done by Fowler and Herbstrom. We are a bunch of doofuses that do a show every day and are somehow calling the Cotton Bowl. Third and ten, Dylan Gabriel. Time, check. Ball oh. completion to Andre Anthony. What a catch, what a throw. That is unguardable on a third and 10. Way to get to your back foot, give him an accurate ball where he catches it or it goes out of bounds. Good ball, first set of downs now. Uh-oh, replay? Uh-oh. Dylan Gabriel's right hand is bleeding, I believe is what Zeno meant to tell me. Not the guy that got hurt. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. I'm just realizing the blood on the right pant of Dylan Gabriel. Good to know. The previous play is under further review. Did he get his feet down? Did he get his feet down? I thought I saw a knee. Oh, a little pixelated here. Yeah. Look to get one. All right, let's see. Right here, the left. Yeah, oh, left yeah, foot's good. down. That's oh, a yeah. catch. What That'd a catch. Close. What a throw. What a play from Oklahoma. First down in hey, the red zone. That also something deep. We know this. It's simple and it's basic, but it's third and ten. 11 yard game. Yeah. Don't, don't go nine yards and get this all yeah. right. Congrats. Good catch. Fourth and one. Now get to the, pass the sticks. Make the catch secure. Here we go, first down. Hey, those ice cream Jordan cleats, too. Sweet. So oh. clean. Those so clean. Tough. What a catch. What a ball. You know, Dylan Gabriel, mature. You know, I didn't get to play in this game last year, but they were talking about his maturity, his leadership. Venable is obviously very pumped that he's here with this yep. team. They've been doing their thing this year. Oklahoma all the way back. He's a massive reason why. Throws like that. Our big reason why. Gigantic third down throws in the red zone when you absolutely need it. Gabriel, he started over 40 games. Yeah. So, I mean, this guy has plenty of experience. He's obviously never experienced this game, but good start so far. After further review, Connor, almost a wasted review there, I think. Yeah, it, it 
It's always fun to have, uh, you know, a bunch of refs take a lot of time when <laughs> everyone in the stadium looks up and sees that's a catch about 10 seconds after they go to review. Alfred Collins, number 95. Yeah. Listen, it's 65317. Got the refs right next to us. A lot of time for about Jeff Levy, Oklahoma's OC <laughs> over here to come up with a great play. Run quick, out of the huddle. Quick run. Ooh. Right in the teeth of that Texas D line. Some big really boys. Really mushed it up. Alfred Collins leading the way. Same as Sorrell. That's the end of the first quarter here. At the Cotton Bowl. 7-7 with Oklahoma in scoring position. What a start to the Red River rivalry. We got guns. We got turnovers. We got special teams play. We got more on the other side. Second quarter is that. Welcome back to the Cotton Bowl here in Dallas, Texas, as we got a 7-7 game with Oklahoma driving into Texas's deep end. A review that wasn't needed on an incredible catch on third and ten has kept this drive alive as we got a Red River rivalry. That's going to be in the history books, it feels like. Hand off. One cut, Ooh. big stop out of the Texas defense, A.J. Hall. This big Texas D line, their, their shoulders are square. It's another basic fundamental thing you learn like day one, but they're square, 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 so there's nowhere to run. You yeah. see the running backs get up there, and drop their feet, and go lateral, and guess what? It gives you guys that one of four threes on the outside time to catch up. That was Tali Walker, running back, made a great cut. Also ran into a lot of meat. A lot of, yeah. a lot of meat. Gavin Sawchuk, at running back, it's sent out to the left. Why? Dylan Gabriel takes a snap. Surveys, time, throws. Oh! oh! Almost picked. He throws it back across his body. The guy was sitting and waiting, D-Buck. That's why they always say as a quarterback, do not throw it across your body. Guys are fast. Even from back here, high angle, it looked like a guaranteed touchdown. And you saw that D-back just fly across. And up. Ooh, that would have been nasty. Especially with the DBs floating with Dylan Gabriel, who's rolling to his left. They're yep. naturally going to do that. You'll see Danny Stutzman come here underneath and almost pick this thing. That was Stutzman? Stutzman's on. I him. believe so. <laughs> You're right. That would have been a difficult move for Stutzman. <laughs> Double, triple numbers on here. Kill him. Schmidt with the kick. That is good. 10-7 for Oklahoma. And we got guns. Firing. As Oklahoma is taking the lead here early in the second quarter. What will Quinn Ewers and Texas do with it on the other side? We shall see. Welcome back to the Cotton Bowl. We are very lucky to be here in a 10-7 game. Oklahoma has just taken the lead with a field goal. It's Texas, Oklahoma. It's the Red River rivalry. And that's a Texas steer right there. That's Texas Longhorn. And that's Bevo. He's been getting his tummy rub and shoulder rubs. And he's been watching his Texas football team not be able to do much on the offensive side of the ball. Is that Kyle going to get happy, Darius, or what? Hey, not a bad life. Right Jeez, so many uh, gunshots. <laughs> oh, shoot, what is this? That's a little uh, shrapnel. All the shrapnel. Uh-oh. Big time tackle from a guy that fell on coverage. Never good. Way to make up for it. Yeah, Bevo's living a good life. Boys, you're down there closer. What's the aura around Bevo? I'll be honest, Pat. Bevo is li living a good life. He loves his belly rubs, but uh, he's pretty sick and tired of this Texas offensive performance right now. I I'm, I'm afraid I mean, he was getting a little aggressive and kind of violent when these guys weren't giving it, him his tummy rubs. So I think he's ready to either break out of this thing or uh, or he wants to see a Texas touchdown. Furry Bevo just walked behind us there. He doesn't seem to be that jacked up either. Texas hasn't really taken any shots at all. Haven't seen Quinn Ewers use his arm. Have seen Dylan Gabriel do his thing. Back to the ground and pound. Defense swarming. Seems like every yard has been earned very difficultly for this Texas team, AJ. Yeah, that's what, that was the question coming in, wasn't it? Can this big uh, Texas offensive line get the movement that they want? And they have not so far. We're at the perfect spot to see who's doing what right now where we're standing. 
But boys, this is up close and personal. Quinn Ewers oh. settles in, Winnington with a strike. This is what Texas is going to need. You can run the ball, sure. Yeah. But if you can't throw the ball, they're not going to be scared of it at all. Quinn Ewers got to open up. What a ball right on time. So Winnington has already had a massive day. Good, good ball on the end breaker, like you mentioned, trying to get that running game going so that they can stay balanced. Another, Another one. Ball. There we go. <laughs> He's spinning it right now. They found something with a little rhythm. Left to right breaking route seemed to have success. A.D. Mitchell there, yep. Whittington before it. Flag on the field. So many flags so far in this game. Looks like a legal man downfield on Ooh. Texas. Legal man downfield. That was pretty quick in rhythm. It is Oklahoma. Uh, down 62. Two. 62 yeah. was down the field. 62. Yeah. Yes. Five yards the penalty. That's the red shirt freshman. That's Austin. He was the center that came in for Jake Majors. We did see Jake Majors make his way back to the sideline. He's been stretching over here on the side. We thought there was a chance maybe he would come back in the game. Instead, Austin Connor from Austin, Texas, Connor Robertson still in. He was gonna maybe he's gonna maybe be the guy that was gonna catch him. <laughs> yeah, he was he was engaged. I've like, never seen somebody down the field that fast. <laughs> they need to get that guy on the edge. Ooh. Speaking of getting on the edge. Let's go. Only way to respond. That's the true freshman Baxter back there with the carry. The second carry is dry. Hey, did you guys happen to see the uh, scoreboard pop up from behind you of games around the college uh, landscape going on? No. Who's doing what? Iowa State is down 10-0 to Maryland. Oh, it's oh. early. Uh oh, uh oh, AJ. Whoa, Talia Tungvaloa has had a hell of a start to the season. They haven't played anybody though. Towson, Charlotte. Virginia, Michigan what? State, Indiana, they've looked great. How would they fare against Ohio State? 10 zip, yikes. Quinn Ewers with a handoff. Little jump, Euro step into a sea of Oklahoma. It will now be third and short. And then Mizzou was up 22-7 on LSU. Another kind of surprise. Mizzou, LSU, there's a lot going on down there. Yep. Third and three for Texas. Bevo is gonna storm the field. They get his big ass horns out there if Quinn isn't able to answer one time here early. Xavier Worthy at number three. Let's see if he motions over. A.D. Mitchell flanked outside. Worthy inside. Quinn yours in shotgun. Handoff. Brooks with the seam. Ooh. Gets it. Gets it. First down and more. That's who they've been, Tom Gates, over the last three weeks. Yeah, and Darius talked about they had three wide receivers on that side. There was no one back this way. Huge open hole. Brooks, 160 yards, you said, over the last three games per game. Yeah, he's been dominant. You complete a couple passes, though, all of a sudden the run game can start popping. Uh-oh. Penalty. I don't think somebody was ready, umpire says. Every time Texas tried to run some tempo, something has happened on their own end. Well start. Got to clean Offense. it up. Number 52. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. Got to clean it up. E.J. Campbell, sophomore out of Arlington, Texas. Right now, the offensive line goes left tackle, Texas. Left guard, Texas. Right. Center, Texas. Right. right guard, Texas. Right, right tackle, Texas. Te right. Texas boys <laughs> blocking for the Texas boy. That's Queen Ewers trying to answer here in Texas. Big Texas ball is blocking. Timeout, Quinn Ewers doesn't like what he saw. Didn't like it. Play clock was moving. We're going to take a break on the other side. Timeout. We got a Texas. first and 15. First is Quinn Timeout Ewers answering or not? We shall see. What's my definition of? Welcome back to the Red River Robbery. Baker Mayfield is getting shown on the Jumbotron. The Oklahoma half of the stadium's losing their mind as the Texas half is down 10 to seven in this game and booing Baker Mayfield's ass out of the stadium. Quinn Ewers here, first and 15 driving in the second quarter, down three. What have we seen from Quinn in this Texas offense on this drive, AJ, that makes us think maybe they'll be able to get some points? Well, trying to convert some third downs, trying to not have pre-snap penalties as well. That's a thing for both offenses, I think, they're trying to figure out. Let's see if they try to go right down the pipe here and run right down the middle line. I see Stutzman, middle linebacker for Oklahoma, number 28, calling the plays. Inverse Quinn. Quinn with a fake, rollback, reverse, sack on the logo. 
I mean, anything slow developing or deep downfield, Quinn Ewers just has not had the time to get there. This, uh, this Oklahoma defensive front is not playing around this afternoon. We've talked about the Texas front maybe being a problem. Texas going with tempo. They haven't been able to be successful here. They got the snap off without a go. penalty and a completion. Ah, Xavier Worthy with a big time pickup. Get him back into third and manageable. That previous play, AJ, how do you feel about when an offense fakes the handoff to the running back and then is going to throw the screen to the running back? I'm all right with it. Hey, the more, the more confusion for the defense, they're not really sure. If it doesn't work, terrible. If it does work, genius. Great. Well said. That one, it didn't work. Now what do they call on third and seventh? When yours quick thing. Oh, Brooks snap. with a great catch. Don't think it's going to be far enough. It's going to be fourth and short. What's Sarkeesian going to do? Down three here. Offense is not even thinking about coming off the field. Not right. even a thought. Little breezy, so I'm not going to say it's a guaranteed late field goal either for anybody, especially with how old Cuz has been kicking as of late. Fourth and two. Fourth and one and a half. 11 personnel, trip to the left, motion for Whittington. Fake handoff, Quinn Ewers rolling. Oh, wide open. Held, oh. wide open for a Texas Longhorn touchdown on fourth and short. What a play call, AJ. Beautiful play call, beautiful patience by Quinn Ewers. You can watch the Oklahoma secondary back here kind of talking about the coverage. It might have been a combo yep. a little bit. You don't want to lose somebody, but how uh, unbelievable job fighting the soft spot. Easy touchdown. They've been running and running yep. and running, doing a quick game. I think Oklahoma's defense thought on fourth and short it was going to be something quick. Instead, extend the play yep. wide open in the back end. Somebody's getting chewed out and fell. Yep, fourth and two, you give your, you give your quarterback a two-way option. He's getting out of the pocket. And T Sanders was not on the field for it. That's the second fourth down play we saw go to the backup tight end helm kind of got lost in the sauce there by the defense great kick 14 10 texas has taken the lead great play design great throw for quinn yours is a replay feels like they opened it up a little bit more this drive which should help the run game inevitably yeah he just got lost bad eyes in the secondary you gotta have your eyes in your luggage you saw the run fake move the pocket helm hey, sneak it downfield Whittington with a little eye candy too across oh, yeah. the front you see linebacker jump on that you can't get sucked up AJ you can't get sucked up you know hey if someone's in front somebody is behind yep. when it comes to the game of football there you see Matthew McConaughey who's been on about the 15 yard line on the Ooh. Texas Longhorn side what has he been doing for the boys he's been holding his tricep down like this and he's been hitting it so Pretty snap all game, dead serious. Is he getting power from the sun? Yeah, like he, he'd been bringing power from the sun and then he brings it right to his tricep and pats that sucker. He was on game day this morning. I think he thought he was actually playing in the game and he is. It's his job to get the power of the sun through his Lincoln soul to get it out to the Texas Longhorn boys. And it's worked, obviously. To your point, Pat, before he came up on stage with you guys, he was standing there like below down the steps and he was jumping, getting on set. Oh. Those guns will never Stop being loud. What the hell? Hate Third that. Hate, Hate, that. It. Hate everything that just happened. Fruits, great athlete, too. Yeah, we saw him. He wants deep to bring it out. He just, why did they tell him to fair catch it? Just well, he didn't bring it out. He fair caught it on the field of play. He wants to. I'm saying, I'm guessing the coaches tell him to fair catch it. Yeah, well, coaches need to stop it. <laughs> okay, it's football. It's but why are they doing it, though? For real. I don't know. You have a chance to have the ball in your one of your best athletes' hands going against something that all you need is one guy just to hand, and then it's a house call. Yeah. Let's go ahead and take a little bit more roll of the dice. Especially when your offense is sputtered like theirs has the last couple drives, Pat. Why not try to, you know, just get a, a quick chunk play? Dylan has been able to throw the ball well. Hands off this time to the right. Scraping over. Big time tackle. Minimum game. Minimum game. Not a bad start to the drive there, though, as they run tempo. Yeah, trying to stay ahead of the six. A lot of eye candy pre-snap. Big shift. Kind of left a uh, one-man surface on the backside. Trying to run it. Run it again. Good block out there, Stoop. Got some faith. Good block out there with a slot receiver, Stoops. Marcus Major starting to eat a little bit. Stoops ain't scared to get dirty down there, Connor. Oh, not at all. It feels like Oklahoma almost has been able to run better than Alabama when we last saw Texas play. Okay, open field. Ooh. 
I like that type of tackle. I'm just going to hit the hell out of you. And then I'm going to talk a little bit. He says, I don't care. I just gained seven, eight yards. Dylan's, or Dylan and Oklahoma are moving right now, AJ. They are. Sanders with a couple tackles already in this drive. He's te he's checking out right now for a few plays. You see, Texas has a nice little rotation going with the front seven, especially. Yeah, and Oklahoma has a nice little rhythm right now. A little left, a little right, a little run, a little dish. I like what they're doing. They might have found it deeper. Yeah, a little tempo, getting the ball in your playmaker's hand. Trying to get a good run here from Gabriel. Oh, from that behind. Got blown up quick. Oh, jeez. Texas all over. It's a big shot, too. He took there late from behind. Yeah, from D line. Oh, somebody's limping up there. 91. Ethan Burke out of Austin, Texas. 6'6, 257. DN for Texas, who was able to make that tackle. And now, all of a sudden, after having a lot of success, we find ourselves at third and four. Don't think it's four down territory here. Got to get something. Light motion, Dylan Gabriel has time. Ooh. Throws a dime, first down, Oklahoma. He's good whenever he starts surveying the field. Man, we talked about poise in the pocket. This guy, we just got to see it firsthand from the back of the record behind. Just feet, real still, calm feet, eyes downfield, just pull the trigger, quick release. And right back on the ball. Before he can even breathe, they got another snap, and Dylan Gabriel's got time. Going to his left, decides to keep it and tuck it, slide, oh. late hit, probable. Yep. Flag in, 15 more on top of that. Dylan Gabriel showcasing himself on this drive, Tone Dukes. Uh, personally, I, I think that was a little bit of a soft call from how close we are looking at it here. Yes. But yeah, you guys just talked about it. How comfortable does he look in the, po look in the pocket right now? And we thought his guard, his center, and his guard would not be able to hold up against his Texas defensive front. But he has had time to kind of survey a little bit here these last couple drives. And they're going to call that every time. Oh, yeah. It's, I mean, it's so hard to tackle quarterbacks in the open field as a defender. You got to worry about the late slide. You got to worry about how you're going to go. Defense has to go. Oklahoma fans are happy that their quarterback got hit late. Baker Mayfield walking down the sideline. He's had a couple of those moments in his life. Ooh, that's tough. It's tough as a defender. Close. Yeah, it's like borderline as you slow it down watching yeah. it. Live, we thought it was pretty obvious. Yeah. Live, yeah. live. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. Yeah. when you slide yeah. down late, like, the defender just yeah. puts him in a bit of a spot. And remember what Kenny Pickett did with his cheating ass. Right. <laughs> Fake slide, keeps it. Ooh. Gabriel first down, end around, little pop pass to sco Stoops. Ooh. Oh, did they call that tie? Can you guys see that? Real chippy on the perimeter down there. Yeah. They're running hurry up here. Yep. Second and goal from one. Handoff. Power football. Stop them. Stop. Texas makes a stand Ooh. at the Red River rivalry. I believe Baker's getting mic'd up so he can join us after the next score, next commercial break. Texas, though, I mean, got gashed, got a penalty, had to make a stand up tempo, and they did just that. Yep. Oh, first down. I can't hear what they say. First down? First down, he said. First and goal from the one yard line. You would think you get enough feet on the field, something will pop. Quarterback run. Dylan Gabriel keeps it for a second touchdown. Stop. Of the game, he says no, says the Texas Longhorns defense. It's a big time stop right there, but you got, I mean, you would assume three more downs right now, and they're going to try to run this ball in. Thank you, brother. Our cameraman is willing to risk two ACLs yep. to shoot us. Don't this guy's on it. the field, almost got taken out earlier. We appreciate you. Second and goal from the one. Off, up the gut, touchdown Oklahoma. 17, 14, and we got guns to the sky, and we got guns being shot. What a drive by the Oklahoma Sooners. What a drive, a lot of tempo right now. Gabriel's real house, tempo getting up to the ball, big play, loss of uh, yardage, play. doesn't matter, we're on the ball and we're moving. And obviously our quarterback in the offense is comfortable in that mode. Also got him out on the perimeter a little bit. Dylan Gabriel, let him run, let him do what he's best at. Did yeah. they find something, you think, for the rest of the game? Yeah, a little bit like the Zion QB runs, it looks like they have. He's obviously very athletic and can handle it. Man, they, they put some 
They've got some, uh, some serious hits on them so far today. This is a tough yep. guy. Oklahoma fans are back. This used to be called the Red River Shootout. Is that what this is going to become? I think there's a good chance. A lot of guns being shot off, and another one. We'll be back on the other side with Baker Mayfield, 17-14. Welcome back to Dallas, Texas in a beautiful Cotton Bowl. We're here at the Red River Rivalry as Oklahoma has just taken a 17-14 lead here in the second quarter. Joining us now is a man who's no stranger to the Red River Shootout, a man who is 2-1 in the Red River Shootout. Ladies and gentlemen, from Austin, Texas, Oklahoma legend, Baker Mayfield. Let's go. Baker, I just saw some photos of you throwing horns down in 2016, 2017, whenever you got a big-time win. This game means a lot for you, I assume, as an Austin, Texas native and now an Oklahoma legend. Oh, yeah. It's it's a huge deal. I mean, to grow up watching it and then to actually be a part of it, uh, so surreal. But it's the hate runs deep. <laughs> They've been playing since 1929, I've been told. How did you grow up in Austin? You told us this a little bit yesterday. You grew up in Austin, Texas, home of the University of Texas. Yep. But you've always been an Oklahoma fan because you knew the coaches from Oklahoma, is that right? Yeah, so my dad knew a lot of the old staff that were with Switzer. And so growing up, they used to get us tickets. So we would come to a game or two each year, drive up to Norman, and I just love the culture, love the atmosphere, and fell in love with it at an early age. What have you seen out of the Oklahoma boys early here that makes you believe that this year that gold hat is coming back to Norman? Just how we bounce back. Oh, oh man. No. That's oh, not good. Quinn Ewers with a dime to Xavier Worthy. Right down the middle. They might have oh, found a little something there. Yeah, I think we brought a little pressure. Didn't get home. But, no, I'll be honest, the first drive getting the interception and then how we bounce back after the block punt, there's gonna, this game's crazy back and forth always, and so it's how you react and handle it. AJ has a question for you, Pete. Yeah, is this game a little weird being split 50-50? Obviously, it's it's crazy loud, but there's only one half the school place cheering at one time, and I know I've heard that coming in, but what's it like playing in this actual atmosphere? It's, you know, you think about it being completely split in half, and you'd think it wouldn't be as loud, but when you're backed up in their end zone or going towards it, it is crazy loud because it just it echoes and it's all kept in right there. But it's a, it's a fun place to play for sure. We just showed the photo of you horns down again and then tipping the cap. How many times have you gone horns down today and then in your life? Oh, you man. <laughs> today, probably 100. In my life, there, there's no number. I don't, I don't think the limit exists. It's amazing. It, like every human within a 500-mile radius is either horns up or horns down. And it's happening at all times, every single interaction. You've thrown the horns down to every human you've seen where in Texas, and oh, yeah. I appreciate that. Hey, you, you got to be consistent. <laughs> You're an idiot. Speaking of consistent, Texas has consistently been moving the ball down the field. Quinn Ewers back oh, wow. out of the shotgun. He ran this play before 17 threw the ball to the tight end. This time he keeps it, Ooh. avoids the tackle. Ooh. Gain some hard yards on third down. Darius has a question for you, Bake. Yeah, yeah Bake, you mentioned on the show yesterday, I think a, a high school game of yours with 45,000 in the stands. A lot of kids out here on both teams from Texas. Yeah. How, how does that Texas high school football prepare you for this level? It's unbelievable. Like, just the atmosphere on Friday nights. Like, we were, When I told you guys that story, we had to play at UT Stadium just because the home crowd for the home stadiums for the high schools couldn't hold that many people. But it's it just, it gets you ready for a big crowd and a lot of the pressure that you're going to have to face later on. They got A.D. Mitchell in the safety over here if Quinn Ewers can see it. Oh, oh, you guys are about to give one up, Bake. I don't know if you <laughs> saw that. Timeouts were in abundance for a good reason. Oklahoma seemed to be a little bit miscommunication. Time we're going to go to a break if that's Oklahoma. okay, Bake. Absolutely. First Wait, the good view here. I have this. this is great. Let's see if Quinn does with it on the other side. Welcome back to the Cotton Bowl. It is the Red River Rivalry 2023, and the Oklahoma Sooners are up 17-14, and we're being joined by an Oklahoma legend in Baker Mayfield. Texas had uh, Oklahoma's defense all of sorts. Venables using timeout. We go to commercial break. We're back. They're in strike zone right now, Baker. Look out, pal. I gotta stop this run game. Hey, that's what they are. That's what they've become. They they run the ball a lot, but he needs to complete a pass or two. Connor has a question for you on the other end. Yeah, Baker, when you uh, horns down on the big screen, Bevo was not too happy. Uh, if you had some words for Bevo, what would you say to him? And don't forget, PETA is watching. <laughs> PETA's watching. All right, well, that cowhide rug I got in my house is Jeez. pretty comfy. There you go. There you go. Yes. There you go. I can hear you. 
I feel bad for him. They stick him down there next to the cannon. Dude, there's he's gotta be deaf. How many? So we asked this gun crew here. What's the gun crew? Do you know what the gun crew? The roughnecks. Okay, the roughnecks, of course. They shoot that thing off every five seconds. They're just letting it fly. Just load them up and shoot them. You had two shots earlier today with that thing on the set. I thought one of them was going to be for Lee. He tricked me. Yeah, he did. He took Texas right in your face. That's because he thought Holding. that the line of scrimmage Defense. for Texas was going to be bigger and too strong for the Oklahoma O-line down. and D-line. They've showed up. Hey, the Oklahoma trenches have shown up against a they great have. Texas offensive and defensive line. Yeah, and that, that's to me, that's the biggest difference in watching Texas. So, you, know, you watch that Alabama game, how physical they are on both sides up front. Quinn Ewers here, first and ten, hands the ball off. Ooh, good tackle. Great tackle. Beautiful. Moment of stud, man. How close do you know these guys? You still talk to the team? I still do a little bit. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, never played with any of these guys, but a lot of my former teammates and uh, people are still on staff. Venables did a great job of bringing a lot of those guys back and keeping the culture great. Yeah, last year not so good for Venables. You guys knew though. You guys had patience with him. Yeah, no, exactly. When you lose that many guys in the transfer portal, I mean, he's going to get just as many back. Strong right, strong left, Ooh. and right and running two. This reads it like a book, Baker Mayfield. It's a good novel he just read. Hey, Texas has been doing a lot of side-to-side -side stuff, and Oklahoma's been able to keep up the entire time. Yeah. Why is that, you think? I think they, I mean, to be honest, talking to those guys, they had a great week of practice, and they feel really good about it, too. Well-coached ball club on defense for sure. Both what? sides of the ball. What's that, well-coached? Oh, yeah, oh, well-coached yeah. for sure. Defense starts from setting the edge, second reading that, setting the edge, making the tackle for a great play. How much has college football changed since you have played? Is there the more or less thinking from the quarterback and more or less disguising from defenses? I still think there's less disguising just because you see all the tempo. You can't disguise anything because if, if you're trying to disguise, you're going to be out of place in a bad way. So uh, unless you're playing one of those, like, Big Ten teams that huddles up every time, I mean, it, it, it's hard to do that. There we go. The boys are fired up. Booth Lloyd? Is that anything? I got, I got goosebumps right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How could you not? Stutzman flying around in the middle of the boys. Texas trying to answer an Oklahoma score. Quinn Ewers. Third and goal. Now worthy at number three again. Empty. Empty backfield. Let's put it all on Quinn's shoulders. Got a little draw play, maybe? No? Maybe. Baker Mayfield called the play. He would want massive stop. Cannon comes up with a huge play. He wasn't spying him, but he definitely had his eyes on uh, Quinn Ewers with having some body position back here, too. Sweet bow celebration as the field goal team will come onto the field, I assume. Down three, end of the first half. Why not try to tie it up? Oklahoma says, let's save some clock so we can. I like the aggression here do. from Oklahoma. I do. Hey, feeling confident with that last drive we had, so get the ball back with as much time possible. Oklahoma uh, always bring, like, is Oklahoma a well-traveled fan base? They are. They really are. Uh, I, mean, they, they're, I mean, they're loyal as hell. I'll, I'll, it's, it's unbelievable. They always travel well. Uh, I mean, it's, it, this it's is hard absurd. to beat this, though. This is absurd. Yeah. It's just, like, expected that Oklahoma's going to fill up half of this and Texas is going to fill up half of this. Yeah. This is how it is every single year? Every single year. And the best part is, is like, most of the people that are on the state fairgrounds can't even get in. You're going to still walk outside and see everybody in their gear, too. Tony Diggs has a question for you at the other end. Yeah, Baker, a lot is made about, like, quarterback height, and, and Dylan Gabriel's not the, the tallest dude in the world. Um, do you think too much is made of quarterback height? A little bit. Um, I mean, it, there's definitely disadvantages. Like, I mean, you, you got to be able to see through your guys and, and just trust your progressions if you're a, a shorter guy. And, and um, it, it is tough. I would you? love to be 6'4", but yeah, I'm 6'1". Yeah, I'm on cowboy bits right now, so I got an extra four inches. I thought you were going to be shorter than what you are, by the way, just because of how you look on football. You're surrounded by a bunch of giants, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Is it a story, though? Like, Bryce something they're talking about, he's too small, too small. Find, you just got to find the holes? Yeah, you do. And with him, I just, I worry about, I think it needs to be a little bit of weight, just protect himself, just... It's the, the big boys at the next level can all move, so it's not like he's escaping him like he used to. Did you have to put on weight or anything when he came to the NFL? I did. I put on a little weight. It's kind of been a little up and down, but I'm finding that, that happy medium. 
What was your natural truck. thing to do at the beginning? Hey, roll right, sir. right. That's where everybody knocked about you. Yeah. Yeah. They, they said I rolled right and did all that, but whatever. It's all BS. <laughs> yeah. Did we just miss us? Did a truck just do something? Did you hear that? Heard the start of a commercial, maybe. Or oh, they're throwing the football. We do this at our home games. Okay. So the away team kicks it, and they'll throw it and throw it out of the stadium. Get it out. <laughs> Get it out. Send that ball home. <laughs> The jumbotron is not an ideal position, but that ball started down here, and then it Wait. goes there, then it goes up there. Whoever threw that up to the upper deck's got to have a little cannon on him. Well, Texas, you know these Oklahoma and Texas boys can throw a football. Picks game quarter That's mile. So sorry, so sorry. Sorry, Mr. Referee. So sorry, Mr. Oh, Referee. The white hat too. Can't happen. You can throw a flag on Texas. Can't happen. That cannot happen. <laughs> Jesus. He was upset. Yeah, he should have been. It can't happen. It's like he just insulted his mother. <laughs> he was not happy. It's his field. Sorry, sir. We are so sorry. God. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, Pat, come on. That's the 19th. I still get you. No, I called it. You oh, heard me yeah. say guns? I actually called it. Ducking, okay. Uh, Baker, if Oklahoma wins this game, when Oklahoma wins this game in your eyes, we're talking college football playoff right now. What are the buzz going to be like around Oklahoma and around Norman? It's going to be unbelievable because this is the type of matchup physicality wise that we need to build that confidence going forward and especially for our defense too because I mean this is going to be probably the best matchup we'll see until the playoffs when we make it but that's it's a good test for us. You talked to Dylan Gabriel much what are your thoughts on him? I think he's a stud uh, great leader. Uh, I know he, he just leads in his own way pretty quiet but I think he makes great decisions. They're in shotgun 100 percent of the time. Love it. Hate it. In college, love it. You got to be able to have some play action, but uh, they, they do enough with the motions, and it, it, you can tell their zone read game too gets some, some open play action. AJ has a question for you, man. Are you and Matt McConaughey cool? We know he's a diehard Texas guy. I heard he walked horns up from the set all the way into the stadium and never put him down. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all. He's uh, yeah, they, they love him down there in Austin, but. You guys ever cross paths and you know get a little jostle each other? We wrestle, maybe we haven't, but I don't know. It'd be, it'd be kind of hard to be mad at him if I hear him talking that soothing voice. Dude, he's so cool. He's great. Dylan Gabriel back to running back major incomplete. Second and 10, 120 left. Texas still has two timeouts. Hey, gotta be careful here. Don't look now. What if Texas gets the ball back, takes lead at the end of the half? Don't put that in the air. Yeah, I just did. <laughs> <laughs> Make a play, keep that clock moving. I need some points here, though, if you're Oklahoma. Where do you live right now? Hey. Uh, in the offseason, I live in Austin. Austin, Texas. Oh, yeah. Home of the Texas Longhorns. We're currently staring down Dylan Gabriel with second and 10. 120 left. There we go. Dylan takes Ooh. a shot. That kid's a stud. Let's go, man. Let's go. There we go. There we go. That's what I love to see. Took the shot because he knew a guy was coming right down the barrel yeah. and delivers a dime, babe. And that's what I respect about his game. I, I think he's tough as nails. He stood in there and made a big play. Farouk is fast. Farouk has two massive explosive plays yeah. for this Oklahoma offense so far in this first half. 111 left. Time. Check down. We're good. Oh, good move. Uh -oh. Oklahoma. Oh, shaking, baking, out of bounds. Clock stop mm -hmm. with another first down. Baker, you're going to love the points. Oh, I love it. I love it. Go through your reach. Check it down. Big play. Texas fans can feel it now. Hey, how about it? Like, it does feel like we're in the state of Oklahoma down here. And then you're in the state of Texas down there. Yep. They said Dylan's been mishandling the snap all first half. Have you seen that at all? Um, there was definitely miscommunication uh, on, on their clap cadence down there. They said it's the sound. They yeah. think it's because of sound. Who knows? Their demon they might be clapping. Oh, they're cheating, you said. <laughs> <laughs> I heard Venables trying to read signals. Handoff. Gain of nothing. So no real timeouts, less than a minute. What are you doing this game? Both quarterbacks go silent count? You have to. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Clock running, 47, tick, 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 45, second and nine for Oklahoma in field goal range. Matthew McConaughey is trying to send all the bad juju that he can send onto the field towards Oklahoma. We got Baker on a microphone, though. It's nothing but good luck for Oklahoma right now. Oh, I appreciate it. We need it. 
What do you got for the rest of the day? You doing anything? Uh, you sticking around tonight? Yeah, I'm sticking around tonight. No, no plans though. But hopefully, enjoy the win. What a perfect bye week time. Early in the season for you guys, bye week though. Early bye, not exactly ideal. Rest of the season will be a grind, but, but we needed it for our guys. We were a little banged up, but make the most of it. Speaking of not ideal, false start here, under a minute. Let's be some professionals. What do you call? What do you call it right here, babe? What are you dialing up here? Second and nine, forty seconds left. I, I like the spread formation right here. We got single high coverage. We got a one-on-one -on, -one on the outside of Farouk. It looks like. Oh, I got a guy scraping over top. Oh uh, yeah. Going a little whip or something with Stoops out here in the slot. He might be rolling back. Motion, running back out of the backfield. Tricks them right now. Ooh. Delayed run. For Dylan Gabriel, he already has a touchdown on the game. Let's go. Pops free. That's that toughness that we've been chit chat about for loose. Did he not get the first? Pops a little ticky. Tick, 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 tick. Throw it, throw it. Make a decision. Quick, quick. Touchdown. Tony. Oklahoma. Oh, oh, no. Just so bummed immediately that you gave one away oh, there, Dylan. Golly. You know what? I'm going to be positive here. We're going to walk <laughs> away with three points and get the ball coming out at halftime. A little momentum. Tawi Walker was wide open. Man. It hit him right in the hands. Could have brought that one in. Could be 24 17. Instead, we await and see if it's 20 17 going into the half. Hey, it's breezy down here. I didn't expect it to be this windy. It feels so good. Normally, this game is just miserably hot. Really? Yeah. It's, yeah, normally this time of year is brutal, but it's... How about the breeze? Normally breezy in here or no? A little bit, but it's just a hot breeze. That normally doesn't feel like this. This is perfect football weather. So for me as the kicker, put it 120 degrees here with no wind. You know what I mean? Make that thing as hot as possible. Make everybody else miserable. Let's just <laughs> kick and punt all damn day in perfect conditions. But I'm saying that because I think on one of the field goals I've seen thus far, wind got a hold of the snap, actually. It was really? like a gust really? of wind got the snap, and then the kicker ended up hitting a little thing. And we've seen on a couple of throws, yep. a little couple yep. pop rockets almost kind of dying off. It'll swirl in here. It is. It is a little breezy in here. I do not expect this. Ethan Burke heading to the tunnel early for Texas. Obviously, two seconds until we're out there. Might have something to get worked on. Will be a 25-yard field goal, if my math is correct, or 26-yard field goal. To take a lead at half with Baker Mayfield. This view is great. It's awesome. We have not moved one time. It's perfect. We have the option to go wherever we want. 2017, there we go. There we Oklahoma go. going We're into the Everybody's going to be running in our faces. So, Baker, thank you so much for this time. You've crushed it this weekend. I hope your Oklahoma Sooners can finish this thing off well, as we head into halftime. Dylan Gabriel, super handsome. <laughs> Look at that guy. That guy's a movie character. <laughs> We've had an incredible first half here at the Red River Rivalry. There's highlights in abundance from the first series all the way through the last. We can't wait for the second half. We will see you then. Here's what the first half cooked up for. Is this not an electric environment? And Brent Venable's squad says, hey, cowboy, hey, we're taking the ball back. Stat. It then stopped. Once again, why are they looking at that screen? <laughs> I mean, we got 19 other screens they could look at that are much bigger. Look, at, there's two of them, literally two screens on that one screen that are bigger than that tiny screen. You've thrown the horns down to every human you've seen where in Texas, and I appreciate that. You gotta be consistent. Have you met Bevo yet, that big ass cow? We are a bunch of doofuses that do a show every day and are somehow calling the cock bowl. Third and 10, Dylan Gabriel. Texas here at the Cotton Bowl for the Red River Rivalry. 
It has certainly been a shootout here in Texas. The first five minutes of this game had everything you could ask for in the rest of the half followed suit. My name is Pat McAfee. I am a doofus who's allowed to do very cool things. This is one of them. I'm joined by Darius J. Butler and A.J. Hawk, two NFL greats. And then the boys are on the other side down at Oklahoma's end, Tone Diggs, Ty Schmidt, and Boston Connor. We are living a dumb dream life, but Tone, that first half was incredible football, Tone Diggs. It was everything you wanted from the Red River shootout showdown rivalry. 2017, we're basically basically back at 0-0 zero, zero to start the second half, and this crowd is coming alive. The crowd is coming alive. Darius, what did we see from both teams that leads us to believe what's going to happen in the second half? We saw both teams try to establish a run game up front. Defenses came out tough. Now let's see how these offensive play callers adjust, and hopefully we get some big splash plays in this half. AJ, what did you see from the defenses? I think the trenches for Oklahoma impressed me much more than I could have ever imagined. They did. What also impressed me was the secondary for Oklahoma, and the, the, uh, they did not let uh, Texas offense get any yak any yards after the catch they may have an explosive game boom he's tackled within a yard after catching yep. let's see if they can continue that in the second half only a couple explosives from oklahoma only a couple 10 plus yard plays from texas but there was action all over the place and it is great to be away from those guns and on the texas side of this entire cotton ball those are not quiet yeah i didn't no. think you were lying pat but boy those things are loud <laughs> That lady that's going to come out in front of you with that gun, she's like the leader, too. She's firing a hole so she can give you a little heads up, but the, the surprise of the sound is going to hit every time, boys. Black cowboy head? Yeah, she definitely runs the show down on this end. We know now. Just like any saloon you've ever been to, when they're two-stepping, there's a black cowboy hat at the front. You need to follow suit. Here's Oklahoma with a three-point lead here in the second half. Pitch outside. Not a bad way to start there with Major. Picking up a couple yards. Run to start this thing. Does that say anything to you, AJ? I mean, just more of, of what they've done early. Try to have a little balanced attack and take what the defense gives you. Pick up a two. Still on schedule. Snap to the running back yet again. They ran this play in the first half. This one works for a first down. That was to uh, Ruth Bath. They're just trying to get the ball in his hands. I love that because he's taking fair catches on kickoffs. Now they move him into the backfield as a wide receiver and snap the ball directly to him. That's a couple times now. Oh, yeah. We've seen Oklahoma do a little uh, side chest stuff. Yeah, like Tone said, you want to get the ball in your playmaker's hand. Made some big plays already. Ooh, might have a shot here. Nope. Other way. Uh, that is bro. a dime. Ooh. from Dylan Gabriel. Ooh. That thing was on a line there. This dude's arm talent is for real, AJ. I mean, look at that. We had a beautiful view from opposite hash to the sideline. That ball traveled in the air for a long, long time. Had some zip on it. AJ, you need to take a couple steps to your right because we are in a camera. Our cameraman is not scared of ACLs. He's not scared of penalties. What? And he's not scared of any other camera that's potentially shooting the game. And that is what I'm talking about right there. They, they, they still want us to back up a little. Oh, good catch. Wow. I think it's you. They would like you to get out of that camera right there. Yep. Yep. Nice. I appreciate you, man. It is 2017 Oklahoma, and they're just moving to start the second half. What happens at halftime, boys? You think they pick out what they liked, what they didn't like from the first half? And should we expect this to be the blueprint for the rest of the half for Oklahoma, AJ? I mean, we'll see. 2017, like Tone said, is basically 0-0. Zero, zero. Trying to limit the mistakes. Don't want anyone block a punt again. Trying to hold on to the ball and not turn it over. Great ball to Stoops in the middle. Feels like he was bobbling that and it hit the ground, but refs didn't see it the same way. The Texas fans down here are not happy. Running with tempo, which is normal, but seems to be a little bit more expedited because that could potentially be an incompletion. Tell you what, the thing about this And game, it will be a review. Another one. <laughs> yep, it's a neutral replay uh, coordinator. Whoever's up there in charge of that, because Curtis every play we've seen multiple review. replays, Pulling multiple looks. You know what? Also, I've thought about. So the Cotton Bowl is used for this game, and then it's used for the Cotton Bowl, right, Tone? The, yeah, the Cotton Bowl Classic, I believe. Okay, so it's January what? One? January two now? Yes. Okay, so it's two times a year. So the people that work this stadium, like they're still getting there. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. like at in Austin at Texas Ooh. Stadium or whatever. Oh, that person's a, working uh, a bunch of games. Here, like, first half, it was like third and 27, it said on this thing at one point. It was like <laughs> second and four. Yep. You know, they kind of followed suit as well, kind of fell in. But the replay system has been very efficient up there from the Cotton Bowl folks. Definitely. And looking at this replay, definitely like that ball came out. 
Yeah, I saw it from the back here. I saw it hit the ground. I didn't mm -hmm. know if his arm was potentially underneath it. We've seen some reviews, though, today mm -hmm. that have had unexpected calls. But that's what's going to happen in Red River rivalry. There's going to be happen. some close calls. But the defense, the D-line came back, and they, you saw them start putting no, no, no. So they saw, they feel like they saw a bobble and hit the ground yeah. possibly. Texas. Five. 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 Texas. I'm doing this pretty, pretty standard. I don't even see Bevo until right now. Yeah, that's Bevo's ass right there. It'll be an incomplete there pass. Is. It'll be second down for previous Majestic time. creature. We thought we saw it hit the ground anyways. We got second and 10 here for the Oklahoma Sooners. You know, Stoops has great arms, but that was just great play by the defender. Great play to knock it out. Now you got second and long, kind of behind the stick. Usually a get back on track play here, screen, draw, quick game. Let's see what Oklahoma comes They like to throw that bubble out to the side. A little motion maybe before the snap. No motion at all. Nope. Hand off. Power oh. offense for Oklahoma. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Belly to back suplex. Kurt Angle. Brock Lesnar. Zero for Texas. I like it. True freshman him from the physical tackle, but also a good run. They got third and short. When he is. Ball's Ooh. already been snapped. Stoops has the rock. First down, Oklahoma. How, how awesome do you think it is for him playing in this? Like growing up in this, from Norman, dad coached here forever. Well, him not being like a crop player is awesome. I, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's no charity case. This guy's a stud. Yes, exactly. He's a great player. Grew up in it. Obviously has a lot of loyalties Ooh. to Oklahoma. In this pace that Oklahoma plays at, Zero had to belly back suplex. Big time hit. Yep. Normally would celebrate that. Well, can't. Ball's already snapped. First down for Stoops. <laughs> yep. And he's another good throw across the field of Andrew Anthony from Gabriel. His tempo, man. This is this is where he operates his offense the best and most. So it's almost our 50th play already. And we got 11.50 left in the third quarter. Dylan Gabriel play action. Finds his big tight end over the middle. Just an easy pitch and catch for a gain of 10. Big body across the middle with Austin Stockner. His second catch of this drive so far. He's from Plano, Texas. He's 6'6", but you run that little play action, get the linebacker stuck, and then he sneaks in right behind, and Ooh. now he's lead blocker for Dylan Gabriel. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. Big time shot. <laughs> Old Austin Stockner has really been the star of this second half drive. <laughs> Leading the way for Dylan Gabriel, bringing a lot of meat on meat there. No time to breathe. We're back set. Ball snapped again. Power offense right up the gut. We got a great view. Does it make you want to get back in them trenches at all, AJ? No, not really. Actually, being down here makes me not want to get back in these trenches. It makes me appreciate being on this side, watching these big guys. They're unbelievable. First and goal from the three. Oklahoma's marched right down the field to start the second half. Ooh. Another handoff. Walker gets down to the one. Nice game tackle there, but this is when we find out a lot about a lot of things. The offensive line, center and two guards. Are you tough enough to handle this Texas D line? Well, second and goal from the one. You got three shots at this. Can you move it three feet, AJ Hawk? That's all they're trying to do. Look at the interior three we have here for Texas. A lot of meat up front. Going to be getting off the ball here. Trill Carter, number 98, lined up right over center. Ooh. Dive, touchdown. Oklahoma's up 26-17. Hey. 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 <laughs> what a drive. Do that hey, Ty Schmidt, I know you just had a gun go off in your ear. But Oklahoma's halftime speech from Venables had to be something magical. They walked right down the field on Texas. Yeah, unbelievable, Pat. I apologize, because like you mentioned, it feels like a bomb just went <laughs> off down here. But hey, that's what you're going to get in this robbery. What a methodical drive from Gabriel in Oklahoma. Exactly what they needed to kind of take the momentum back uh, starting this second half. And Stogner is on the left wing of this field goal team and made a lead block, had a couple big time catches, and now was the guy that was gonna lay the block to make sure the kick was protected. It's 27-17. Oklahoma's hot with Texas answer to start this second half.
Welcome back to the Red River Rivalry, live from the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas, more specifically, the Texas State Fair. To start this second drive, or second half, the Oklahoma Sooners just marched right down the field to take a 27-17 commanding lead. There's something lifting into the sky right above the Cotton Bowl, a jumbotron that I had not seen before. Oh, oh. And now, Texas will be attempting to respond. No fair catch. It's a real team. Ooh. Ooh, okay. And it pays off out to about the 30 on a big time return. Texas' special teams have won the day for Texas. Fake punt, block punt, touchdown, big returns. They know that's an asset, and they're continuing to exploit it, AJ. Of course. I mean, I. I credit to them for bringing it out. You're down 27-17, third quarter. We know this is a huge drive. You're trying to get the best field position possible. Texas needs a play here. They need a big drive in here. You see 17 up on the board. This offense has put 10 points on so far. If you remember, at the end of the first half, Quinn started throwing it a little bit, which opened up the box so that Brooks could run. Instead, Stutzman shoots a gap and says, no yards for you. We love the way Stutzman plays, AJ. Oh, downhill all the time. Which this, both these defenses are very much downhill team. Deep ball in front of you and gang tackle. Fought on the block there, too, as well. Oh, yeah. This band's a real deal. We're told we're not allowed to stand down by B, though, because we're potentially in the bottom right corner of a camera that's shooting the game. So now we are right in the mouth of the band, which can play the hell out of the horn section. And that's a good ball from Quinn Ewers right there, D-Butt. Good throw. Gunnar Helm has been having to make some big plays. A couple of them on fourth down. Now you see on second and long. Getting a big throw to our move these chains. This is 2023 football. Whenever you need something, go to the tight end, AJ. That's what you do. What do they call the tight end usually? To the quarterback? Yeah. Woo, this band is open. Okay. I mean, we're right in it, boys. Wow. <laughs> Your team has the ball. I don't know if that's the best idea, but here we go. Quinn Ewers and Chaka, third and two, money down, big completion to Sanders, who was not able to walk in the first half. Now he goes up and gets a big time first down ball. Guess that thing is loose, that ankle is loosening up that leg, he's moving around a little better than we saw earlier. Uh, Quinn, Quinn is uh, on his tight end, the lock right Quinn Ewers, oh, little gamesmanship. Yeah. Oklahoma has not fallen for that at all. <laughs> Ethan Downs just pulled a grown man move here, just completely destroyed his block, shedded him, uh, took the quarterback down. Great place for down there. They do a lot of play action. Let's run Quinn Ewers around a little bit. Let's go and extend the pocket. Sanders hobbled a little bit on that ankle after he just made a catch too and tried to come across the ball and make it down. Yeah. Beautiful play by Ethan Downs, taking advantage of that opportunity. Once again, your team has the ball banned, but I appreciate the noise. Second and 16 <laughs> for Texas. Quinn Ewers with a little tunnel screen to Winnington, who's had a couple massive plays. Gain of next to none. It's again, behind the sticks, Texas offense. That's not where you want to be. Second time in this drive already, where they're behind the sticks, second and long. They try to get the third and long, and now you've got third and long. Big play for this long, long offense. 11 personnel, two wide receivers to the right, one to the left. Quinn Ewers drops back. Brooks with a pickup of a blitz. Ewers runs, Ooh, takes a that's shot. A big hit. Loses oh, the ball. 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 First down, ball. Oklahoma. Wow. Third and long becomes a turnover for the Oklahoma Sooners after a massive shot on Quinn Ewers. Boys, I don't know if you can feel it from where you're standing, Ooh. but we've seen it. We felt it. Quinn wanted to lower the shoulder, and it came back the other way. Yeah, helmet right on the ball. It is electric down here. Uh, the band is also going off right in front of them. This is actually the first rough neck screw up. One guy shot off his cannon. No one else shot their guns. That might turn the tide a little for Texas. I didn't know that. You know, we had that kid Andrew miss a kick on game day earlier from Oklahoma. Oh. He was getting heckled by the Texas student section. He came about an inch and a half short of that. Thought maybe that would be bad mojo for Oklahoma. The roughneck crew firing off the gun and rough that. Maybe that would be bad mojo for Oklahoma. But Oklahoma ain't about mojo. They're about technique. They're about football. What a sound tackle and another turnover for the Sooners team. 
Play action, drop back time. Caught from behind. Good job. Dylan Gabriel, who is obviously athletic, not known to be a track star, but certainly a guy that can extend some plays. Yeah, good job by the defense there. They wanted a, a shot, had some crossers down the field, another deep route, something offenses do a lot with sudden change, a, a turnover is great, especially around the middle of the field. So good job by that defense on the first play. Gets play from the sideline, we readjust. Let's bring big Stalkner over. Stand up, play action, time, delivered. Looks like two, Ooh. looks like Penix Jr. That was a headhunt situation, it appeared. I'm not gonna point it out, neither will we. <laughs> that guy wanted an old school football tackle. He did, use the leverage, you're running inside and out. Be, man. But get your ass down, some, buddy. Some collisions going on out there. Third and eight, Texas defense can put out a fire quick here. They're able to force a punt. 27-17 with the turnover. If Oklahoma was able to go score on this drive, you'd think, wait a minute. Ooh. Cut blocks all over the great, place. Quick great. game, no success. Great, One team great on great the field great. for Oklahoma. Texas gets the ball back in. A sigh of relief for Quinn Ewers. Great breakup. Gigantic stop. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great breakup. Great finish by that uh, corner Brooks. Left hand through the pocket, get it down. You saw the cut blocks up front, some quick plays offensively on the offensive line with a quick throw. And a big, big stop for this Texas defense. They're pointing towards us. This man yes. is Watch awesome. Records. I think he would go catch a punt right now if we asked him to. Okay. Yeah, okay. Easy. Texas has brought the heat every time old buddy is punt. Little Aussie end up ah. ran worthy. Fred catches it at the six. Could have got a good bounce. Maybe not. Nonetheless, Quinn Ewers with a full field. He has two picks on the day and a fumble. Down 10. Will he be able to lead the Texas Longhorns to the promised land? We shall see on the other side. Welcome back to beautiful Dallas, Texas in the Red River rivalry is happening. Quinn Ewers currently 14 of 18 for 149 yards, two picks and a fumble, down 10 in the third quarter, gets the rock first and 10 in his own six. Darius, if you're OC for Texas, what are you doing for Quinn here to make life a little bit easier in a tough spot? You know what, first and foremost, I ask him what he wants. Hey, what are you thinking? How do you feel? What do you want to get you back comfortable? Got to find a way to get Xavier Worthy involved in this game. Tight end's been playing well, running game is okay, but Quinn always got to get the big plays, and most importantly, you got to take care of the football. Three turnovers in the first three quarters. Little motion, good snap, snap, hand off to Brooks, and it was nothing for nothing. Kelly read that thing from jump, and Brooks had no shot, AJ. Yeah, no shot. Texas just wants to do something, give you a little breathing room, so Quinn Ewers doesn't feel like he's dropped back in his own end zone here, so key to get at least five or six yards here. Two picks, a fumble, None of that matters if you win this game. Down 10, gotta move. Gotta move if you're Quinn Ewers. 11 personnel, got a bunch set to the left. Quinn's looking that way. Finds Xavier Worthy. First oh. down, backed up, what a ball. Had to anticipate that, threw that oh. long before Zay had a clue that ball was coming. What yeah, a thing of beauty, wasn't that beauty? We watched it from his angle. Yeah, like, perfect. It's nice little, like, little seven to the, to the sidelines, threw it be, well before the receivers obviously looking. That's an NFL throw, obviously. Had, had a was, clean pocket, too. That was NFL pitch and catch. He didn't look anywhere near to his right. He knew where he was going. Oh, Quinn Ewers, down 18 pounds, Ooh. able to dump it off, avoid pressure. Here we go, Quinn. Here we go. Connor, Quinn Ewers might get hot right now. Yeah, it looks great. I thought without the mullet, you know, it might fall off. Pat, you mentioned these linebackers haven't been getting sucked up, and it feels like now it's kind of paying off for Texas. That's Stutzman football. Brooks with the edge. Ooh. Shaky, shaky, bakey, bakey. First down, Texas with the arm, and now on the ground, Deepa. Yeah, Brooks has been making some plays, man. Only a sophomore, but he's on a lot of NFL teams radar already. Big play to the running back after two back-to-back -back big plays from the quarterback. So Texas got a roller right now. Here we go. Texas Longhorns fans sensing a little optimism, AJ. Yeah, they are. You can feel it. They're going to explode if they get in the end zone here shortly. Back to the huddle here. Scared of Venables potentially being able to know what they're calling. I wonder how much little chess match is going on between the coaching staff. Trying to figure it out. 
Drag route to Sanders where he wanted to go. Instead, oh, sidearm on the run. Dark. Absolute dark for Quinn Ewers. Catch from A.D. Mitchell. To A.D. Mitchell transfer from Georgia. That's a nice weapon to add. We will say Archie Manning is on this Texas team somewhere. Maybe him at wide receiver sometime. <laughs> Jonathan Brooks been able to move. How about this Texas offensive line being a little bit more productive here in the third instead of the first half? Yeah, this is it. They started a little strong. What, six yard line, their own six. We're over here in the red zone, advancing in, trying to score. Three turnovers thus far for Queen. Doesn't seem to bother him right now. Need to have that type of nostalgia. Gotta have a short term memory quarterback. Next play, play action. Good throw. Nice check down. Oh. Why not? Jonathan Brooks will cook and make somebody miss. What a play. It is rare the first guy gets him, huh? Yeah, no, no chance Johnson gets an open field, only a sophomore, but he's a handful of fantastic players in open field already today. Balls on the 21, red zone. Here we go. Need any points imaginable. Don't think you need a touchdown only, agent. Ooh. I was wondering if that was going to be a throw. <laughs> then it looked like he was about to pick that thing up and throw it. It looked a little uncomfortable. It never looked like it had a chance. Never had a chance. Again. And on second and one, you don't want to lose yards. You did it the offense that's possibly a waste down when you take a shot. Third one, but you don't want second one to turn to third and three. You third never five. want to throw it ever. It did look weird though. Third and five on the 25. Need points. Can't have another turnover. Hand it off. Hang on to it. Ground and pound, fourth down. What are you doing here? I'm kicking the field goal personally. Me too. Not, I'm not going. Texas. I'm going. Bringing the big boy. Yeah, we, we got it. We got our best drive probably of the day right here. Going starting to see. You're know right. right. You're right. I gotta okay. drop my lane to go for it. Okay. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> if you get it, it's great. But down to ten, could get some points if the kicker's able to make it. Now, kicker before this game. Had not been as perfect. No longer Ewers at quarterback. Ewers their wide receiver. They run this play oh, a lot. No. Flag. We will now back it up, I assume, fourth and seven from the 27, which would make it a 45-yard field goal. False start. Offense. How many of those have we had? Today? We know penalty. this is a world coach football Still team to start, but I feel like we've had a lot of dead ball off, uh, penalties for this offense. It's always when they try to run tempo and everything like that. Feels like they don't have it figured out. Now, you made this kick much tougher on the kick, I will say. Man, Venables was chewing somebody's ass out down here. He's a fiery man, big time. Kicker Auburn, 45 yard field goal. Hair is awesome. Has made all his extra points and a short field goal today. Will he continue his greatness? Yes, he will. Welcome back, Burt Auburn. Good from 45 to take this to a seven-point game as Texas is able to score with their drive start from the six. Oklahoma gets the rock back next. Dallas, Texas here at the Cotton Bowl for the Red River rivalry and joining us now is a Texas legend, the Minister of Culture, a man we got to chat with today on College Game Day and a guy we got to chat with in Alabama, the last one of these, ladies and gentlemen, Matthew McConaughey. And here we are. Deja vu. Live. Deja vu. One more time, it'll be vu deja. <laughs> I like that. Uh, Matthew, Let's go, Horns. Matthew, let me ask you a question. When we were at Alabama and Texas was taking on Nick Saban's crew, yeah. Texas was getting the bounces early, they were getting the plays early. Yep. It felt like it was Texas' game the entire time. Yep. Yep. Now it feels like that's kind of happening for Oklahoma. Now Quinn's able to get three there, but it feels like it's Oklahoma's day with the football gods. Are you experiencing that? Or what so, have you been so doing? far it is. Look, Oklahoma came out and was on the front foot, all right, emotionally and speed-wise and power-wise. We were a little on our back foot. We had to call, we had to go deep into the playbook just to make it down the field. And then the special teams had to score down here. We'll take it how we can get it. But this game sobered up. They still have the momentum. It's time for us to get a momentum shift and let our, let Sarkeesian, let us, let our play start next help, Matthew. Uh-oh. No, that doesn't help. Sorry. What's going on? Sorry. So Oklahoma's offensive line was made to be outpowered by the Texas defensive line. 
Yes, what have you seen from your defense, or maybe for the next quarter? That'll give you a little bit of hope that they'll be able to amplify it up a little bit. Gabriel's moving around all well. Picked up. Oh, oh, baby. Okay. Ooh. That would have been deja vu. I'd like to disrupt him a little bit more. He's getting out of the pocket. He's been precise. He's had plenty of time to throw quite a few times. More time than when you just had to throw today. Did you speak to the team at half or no? No, no, no. I sat back and I listened. I watched. They have a plan. This is Arkeesian's team. They have a plan for the second half. We've had great second halves all through the season. I hope we're about to have another one because what we saw in the first half and what the plan is for the second. AJ has a question for you, man. Yeah. When you sat back and listened, what did you hear and did you like what you heard? In the locker room? Yeah. No, it's nobody's business but mine and them. <laughs> hey, did you pass the test? <laughs> Gabriel with some time. Pick that Ooh, up. That was, that was hey, D-line's starting to eat here since you grabbed the microphone just because. Well, the last time I was down there with you, you know what happened. So let's see if we can get another deja vu on that. Yeah, we're down away. Yeah, vu deja vu day. Hey, we're down here in the state of Texas on this side. Hey, how cool is this? Huh? This is something awesome. different that I've never something experienced in my right? life. No, it's special, man. And, you know, I mean, to look at the line awesome. and what end you're playing on. You got a home game. Half the game, you got an away game. The other half the game, you got to take advantage of it when you got the home game and survive when you got the away game. Let's get it all. We got what? One quarter and one minute and 25 seconds. That first quarter was like four hours long. This Whoa. third quarter has flown by. Yeah. Bevo is dumped on the field. Good. I hope he dumped on it. Kicked it around. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> the boys Oklahoma. down at the other end have a question for you. Connors is there. Yeah, tonight. Matt. Uh, in your opinion. Why is Oklahoma and Texas the greatest rivalry in college football? And what makes playing, especially in this stadium, yeah, yeah, so yeah. special? So look, it's been going on for 119 years. And if you go back to last, what, 67 or 70 games, it's practically tied. Um, as I said on uh, game day, there's some good old-fashioned hate in this rivalry. Thank you very much. And it, look, it's one of the best examples of tribalism in all the sports right here. These, these fans and these teams have some real hate for each other. And it goes down here, and you get bragging rights for a whole year. And a lot of these recruits, most recruits are from Texas. Some go to Oklahoma. Some go to Texas. This It's, it's a wonderful wide rivalry, man. It's about it's, it's, it, you, if you If you ball out here, you become a legend. Yeah, for our school. At, at our school. Hey, let's talk about it. A lot of Texas boys on this Texas team. Being homegrown feels like it matters for Sark and the University of Texas. Oh, yeah. Look, a whole lot of Texas boys on the OU team as well. <laughs> yeah. Being homegrown that does matter a whole lot. We know we know there's only one University of Texas. Let's make this happen, boys. Get to it. Outside. Real scooting. Get the Ooh. Dancing. Prancing. Fourth we, down. Just short of the first. Oklahoma. They Fourth punted last down time, and it. one at midfield. Are we at? Yeah. yeah, in the middle. They're up a touchdown. You might want to play the field position injury. game if you're Brett Venables. We got downwind. We got a 15 mile an wind coming in our face. Hey, it's very breezy out here. Yes, it is. I did not expect your hair looks sweet in this Thank breeze. you. It feels good under my hat, too. When are you getting back <laughs> in that Lincoln car and telling us something uh, sweet? Cruising out of here, just kind of thinking about things, yeah. sharing. Take them home, Tom. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be in there shortly soon. Thank you. We need that. We need, our, our society needs that. Uh, Connor's down at the other end has a question for you. Come on, Connor. Yeah, Matthew, we talked to Baker Mayfield earlier. Uh, is there ever a point when you do see those Texas boys go to Oklahoma and you just think to yourself, God damn, they really screwed up because they didn't go to the greatest? Baker's from Austin. Austin, Baker's Texas. From, from, yeah, over Lake Travis. What's that all about? Texas didn't go recruit him hard until he went over there. So he's got his opinion about Texas. Some of them do. Look, I, this makes me want to bring up a great thing. This horns down. A lot of it. Is the greatest compliment in all of sports. Okay. It is grabbing our sign of what we're about and doing nothing more than inverting it and turning it over. All right? We appreciate it. Keep it up. <laughs> well, that gives you know how much respect that's given us by doing that? We appreciate it. We know where the horns go. Yeah, straight <laughs> up this guy. Come on. Have we been getting the power of the sun today yet or no? The sun, we better get it going right yeah. now. We need yeah, some yeah. solar powered energy right here, yes. right now. Fourth and two. Come on, baby. This is the time. Hey, this is the dough. Get yep. the dough oh, out. Yeah. Yep. We saw yep. you Triceps. earlier. Triceps. Oh, yeah. Oh. Triceps. We're with you. Oh. We're with you. Come on. We're this with is, you. This is D-line stuff right here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Fourth and two. Let's be strong here. We're rocking. Time. Drop an incomplete. And there we go.
Yes. Front. It's a yes. Time stop. Here we go. Now we feel. Here we go. Now Momentum change. Oh, sir. Let's turn the tide that the breeze changes. The sun is out. Let's go, Horns. I don't know if we got the solar power, but we definitely got the power of the triceps. Now, Quinn Ewers has two picks and a yep. fumble, was able to score in that last drive. What do you need to see from him in this Texas Longhorns offense? I'd like to see the O-line give him a little more time. He's having to look around mighty quick, and he's having to use his legs more than I think he thought he was going to have to. Oh, we lost our we lost our starting center yeah. earlier. Yeah, kid from Austin backing him up so, out of Texas. Let's get it. Give him a little bit. To, give him another .5 seconds, boys. Play action. Time. Dumps off the Brooks. We'll take that. Spin. Spin. He's tough to tackle, McConaughey. Yep. First guy's going to miss every time. Darius has a question for you, man. Yeah, we saw you root for him to go for it on fourth and two last uh, drive. and ended up getting the field goal after the penalty. What's your, uh, your, are you going to be aggressive for the rest of the game here when we push the ball with Texas? Well, look, we're down seven, mm -hmm. basically one quarter to go. I'm happy with that three down there. Happy. I didn't like the penalty we got to yep. push it back five extra yards. Yep. But I like that Sarkis, that's how he's calling offense. Go, go, Brooks. Ooh. Roll, baby. Go. Hey, hey the offensive line on. start answering. Wake up. Wake right up. Now. Flick the switch. Horn. Flick the switch. Have Let's you guys, go. Have you guys been a slow starting team this year? Has that been a trend? Yeah, it has been a trend. First half, we've, we've had certain teams hang around. Second half, look, we look. Fourth quarter, look at even them. In the fourth quarter on the other side of this break live from the cotton bowl matthew mcconaughey putting his triceps on the line for the Come entire on. university of texas longhorn team 27 20 texas is driving tie game potentially on the other side it's a good one Tuscaloosa, right down here when we had a Quinn Ewers to Xavier Worthy stretch out for six. We're looking for another one right now. That's why I'm not leaving this court. Feels like we're in about the same coordinate here, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Longitude and latitude is correct. Let's see it. Quinn Ewers, first and ten after a massive turnover on downs of Oklahoma. Texas defense showed up and now does Oklahoma's deal. Oh, a little late stuff. You see that? A little hey. set the tone. Well, there's been a few things that the uh, referee's a little tardy getting in the pocket on a few holds earlier but not going to use any of that as an excuse let's play this game out. of course not no excuses no way does feel like they're playing a little bit dirty there that's what happens in rivalries get outside baby great cut from brooks it's a dog hey this oklahoma defense aj swarms dude they have been impressive they've answered the ta uh, challenge every single time yeah absolutely anytime you think there's any kind of space they're always going to break this one their closing speed just seems to be off the charts yep let's break it right here third and five money down Play action. Uh, oh, 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 on the one. On the one. Down Jay Witt. Jay Witt. Get on the ball. Get on the ball. Get on the ball. Go. They're going to go. Quinn Ewers touchdown. Right here. Ladies and gentlemen, Matthew McConaughey is sending move, the touchdown vibes to all of Texas right now. Come on. I believe, Come on. I believe Sweat just right came. They just ran through the huddle. 27-20. Take your time right here. Make it happen. Make it happen right here. One time. Yeah. Only three feet away from a tie yeah. ball game, Matthew McConaughey. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. We got some meat in the backfield. D lineman at fullback. Handoff. Ooh. Stopped. Stopped. At the one, we still got three more shots at this thing. I do like that Sarkeesian brought the big boys in and said, let's play some power ball. Mm -hmm. Big 9-3 in the backfield. You see him early make a big tackle? It's a big dude. Got him at least 380. What are you doing? Are you going right up the gut one more time? You're damn right we are. Three straight more times here? Right on the back side. I'm not going to need three straight. Here we go. Okay. You're right. I apologize. Words or spells? Pitch. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sideways. Hey. Nothing. Loss of a half a yard to a yard. Is that a whistle before the player, or is that a whistle from over here? Well, it could be anything. I'm not really hearing much, to be honest. Bevo farted, the pants going crazy. And it's third and goal from the one. This is gut check time here in McConaughey. Yes, it is. We got some hands for it, man. We got some hands on the hips up there in Texas. It's a huge third down right here. If you do, AJ, you run it again, you go play 
to pass. Yeah. I'm going again. Right down the middle. Right down the middle. Right down the pipe. Motion. Same play we ran on first down. Andre Sweat. Power. Shift. Oh, shake. wow. Stutzman. What a stop. Stutzman dances around a defensive lineman and says, no yardage for you. Zero. Fourth Back. and goal from the one. We're bringing in some wide outs. Might be able to see some action outside. Oh, hey, two. Those three had to happen to have this play. Ain't that right, McCoy? That is correct. Now. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, Horn. Ooh. They're up. Come on, baby. We got Here horns we up in the sky right now. The right. power of the sun. Through the triceps. Oh, quick screen. Oh, oh my. Oh. Xavier Worthy. Stopped at the half yard line. Four straight and goal plays stopped by this Oklahoma defense who wow. has answered the challenge hey. every time. This defense takes on the identity of their coach, their yeah. ball coach. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's a ballsy stuff. We're heading to a commercial here, and I don't know if you're sticking around with us or not, but it's about to be a nightmare for Dylan Gabriel on the half yard line. You're the man. We hope to see you on the other side. Oklahoma's ball day. Let's go. One quarter to go. Thanks for having me again, man. Welcome back to the Red River Robbery. We go from Texas legend Matthew McConaughey to Oklahoma legend. Trey Young of the Atlanta Hawks. Trey, thank you for joining us, pal. How you hey, doing? Appreciate you having me. Iced out right now, looks clean. Middle of NBA camp, but had the day off. Had to see the Red River Rivalry, is that right? Had to. I've been coming to this type of stuff since I was a kid, so had to. From Oklahoma? From, I was born in Texas, raised in Oklahoma, so I got a lot of blood in the whole team. I'm rooting for the Sooners. Now, the Sooners got a big time stop there. Now they have 99 and a half yards to go. Are we out of there? Ooh. And they're out the gates. Yep. That is such an important play to get out of the end zone and get moving. What have you seen from the Oklahoma team today that makes you proud to be a Sooner? Man, our defense. Our defense has been our Achilles heel these last couple of years. Like, we've always had really good offenses, but our defense has always been the Achilles heel. And, I mean, they have a really good offense. So I'm glad we're, I mean, they put up 20 right now, but that's a, that's a good defensive effort. I've seen Two picks and a forced fumble on Quinn Ewers. Oklahoma's defense team. Did you ever play football? Yeah, I did. When I was uh, second grade all the way up to freshman year of high school, I had to stop. And then what? Because you had a... Uh, had to work on my... Yeah, it's a good of a shot. <laughs> AJ has a question for you, Trey. As Dylan Gabriel yeah, takes a shot. It. Oh, my. Oh. He hit on that earlier. Down this we side. Haven't, we haven't seen him take a whole lot of shots down the field either. Yeah. That would a hell of an explosive. No. Dang. AJ, what you want to learn from Trey, you said? Do you think, okay, so a lot of kids play football, baseball, basketball, play all kinds of sports. We hear about the specializing. Do you think kids should play multiple sports? I think it's absolutely key. For sure, for okay. sure. Like, for me, like, being a, a point guard is just like being a QB out there. Like, you got to make sure everybody's in their spots, read, react, all that Saban. type of stuff. So. That's what I've been saying this whole time. Nick Saban told us that the other day, actually. Yeah. Tell Gabriel takes it to himself, has a rushing touchdown. Texas. D-line says, uh-uh, to that. Hey, this is a big drive for you guys. You feel momentum in your games, I assume? Yeah, for sure. And you feel it in the crowd. I feel like we get another first down here. We're going to have a, we got to get this third down. I definitely feel momentum. D-butt. Yeah, this environment is crazy. Man. What's that? We see you in Madison Square. Ice trade becoming a villain a little bit in that arena. What's some other arenas around the NBA that are absolutely awesome? Say that last part again. What's the best arenas you played in, obviously, outside of your home? Man, Boston. Sorry, I got to make sure we get this first. Yeah, Come on, Dylan. Play. Come Run. on, Dylan, get the first. Ooh, takes a big shot, picks That's up the first down. The first. Love seeing him sacrifice his body. Yes, sir. That's big right there. That's a leader right there. But, no, I mean, Boston's always a crazy place to play. We played there in the playoffs. I love going to the L.A. cities and yep. playing there. I mean, I just like playing in big games, though. It don't matter where it's at. You like shit talking, huh? They like to shit talk to me first. Got to do it. Yeah. That new that Madison Square Garden, what they spit on you, right? Isn't that what the thing that happened? Yeah, 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 yeah. Game, I forgot what game it was. Yeah, man. Got a little crazy spit on me. You handled that very well, though, I think. Because you could have been very soft and made it a big deal. 
Instead, you just decide to show up at WWE, I think a couple months later, in Madison Square Garden and tell them all to say, you're awesome, Trey. Oh, you need to know that. You are an awesome generation of an athlete that I think we potentially thought we were going to lose. You're a dog out there, bro. I appreciate that. Try to be. Do you uh, credit Oklahoma for that? Definitely, definitely. I mean, watching these guys every weekend since I was a kid. Ooh. Oh, yeah. He's First a player, time. bro. There you go, Dylan. Ooh. He's out of there. Skirt, skirt, Dylan Gabriel. Yes, sir, DG. His feet have been the bigger weapon than his arm on this particular Saturday in Dallas, Texas. He's got the right stuff, Trey. He can lead this team to the whole thing. Hey, man, we got nine minutes left. Let's control the game, get a score right here. You got the win. Hey, when you're playing, are you paying attention much to uh, clock time? How much of situational stuff are you paying attention to? I'm always. Uh, for me, as a point guard, I feel like for Dylan as a, a QB, that's that's our job is to manage everything. It's not just us. It's the whole team. It's the clock. You got to be able to look at everything and notice everything. So I'm always aware of the clock because I got to not know it just for me, but for everybody else too. Dylan Gabriel has over 100 yards rushing. <laughs> Just that quick. I know. Probably got 60 of them this drive. What an athlete. Team looks bigger, faster, stronger than they did last year, Trey. You agree? I agree. I agree. I think Coach Venables coming in, bringing his mindset. I mean, I've known him since I was in middle school, which is crazy. Uh, I used to go up to Oklahoma and play in some runs with some of the old, older coaches at 6.30 in the morning. I was in middle school, about to be in high school. And I'm, I've been knowing Brent since before he went to Clemson. So... Uh, it's, it's really cool to see what he's done right now, and I, I'm looking forward to seeing him take us to another level. Ty Schmidt, who's standing right over there, has a question for you. Trey, go ahead, Ty, baby. Yeah, Trey, just curious. The uh, transfer portal in college football is kind of similar to, like, NBA free agency. It seems like guys are always moving and stuff like that. How aware are you of guys moving teams? Because, obviously, Dame goes to Milwaukee, and everyone goes crazy. How much are you paying attention to for that? For sure. Kind of I mean, I'm a fan of the game first, so I, I'm... I, necessarily, I don't necessarily pay attention to it, but I notice it. I see it. Uh, it's a cool thing. I mean, Dan coming to the East is a big deal, obviously, for a lot of people. But for me personally, I don't really care. I'm just excited to really play, and I'm focused on my team, and I know we'll have to see them, and like, they'll have to see us too. So that's, that's how I look at it. Hey, it was a big deal when he went to Milwaukee instead of Miami. McCade Matower is down. We'll see if he gets up on the other side. Welcome back to the Red River Rivalry, live from the Texas State Fair, the Cotton Bowl, here in Dallas, Texas. McCain Tower, right guard for Oklahoma, was down. They brought a cart out onto the field for him. They are currently escorting him off the field. We hope he's okay. Trey Young is joining us. We just got a chance to chat with him a little bit. And you want to talk about work ethic? You want to talk about how many made shots are we doing every single day? He's 300. He's 300. From three, from everywhere, everywhere where? From everywhere. I'm, I'm shooting from everywhere. Uh, it's made fast shots. I mean, all season, I try to work on my game as much as I can. So I've got to get up as many shots as I can. So. so that's a big thing, though. Every day we're putting up as many shots as possible. And then cardio, we got to stay in shape. We're running gassers. What are we doing? <laughs> no, nah, not gassing. My workout is really the, yeah. the the workout is the conditioning. So, no, nah, for sure. The game, game speed shots, that got to be a workout. You, you, you mentioned growing up in Oklahoma. Did you always know this is where you're coming to play college ball? No, uh, it wasn't. I actually got, I was blessed enough to be recruited by everybody. Oh, yeah. So I was uh, <laughs> blessed enough. Yeah, you worked your ass off too. Let's for not sure. get crazy, but certainly blessed. Let's not get for crazy. Sure. For sure, for uh, sure. Whenever you think about NBA basketball and where the Hawks are right now, what should we be putting as the expectations for you guys as big time Hawks fans now that you've joined our show? Hey, man. We're winning it all. We want it. That's the plan. Like, I don't have no other, I don't have anything else to tell you besides I'll, I'll play. I'm going to win it all. So. That's my plan. I'm going to go in there. People may not see it, may not think about it right now, but I yeah. promise you hearing about December, January, you'll, you'll, you'll hear about us and you'll, you'll be thinking the same thing I'm thinking. Well, let's go, Hawks. You have a podcast now too, right? Yes, have sir. I been following along accurately? Yep, you've been following it right. So it just started this past summer. It's one of the places, a platform for me to, if things come out, I'll have my own platform to use. So following guys like you. No, no, no. We're all trying to get like you, pal. Work mm -hmm. ethic, incredible. 45-yard field goal here to extend the lead we to 10. We need this. When you're sitting at a free throw and you need to have it, what are you thinking about? Anything? Practice. Go do what you practice. And that's what Ooh. My Schmidt did not do. Got under it. A little bit of breeze. And now Texas has the ball going back the other way. 
fucking way, Trey. Oh no. Hey. The ball left. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate y'all. You're the best. Good luck this season. We're back on the other side. Texas has momentum. Bring me. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to Dallas, Texas. It is the Red River rivalry, and we are joined by a friend of the program. Hey, man, you look amazing right now, Glenn. I bottled my whole look after you, man. Yeah, well, you look better than we do right now. We look like we're about to take the disguise and save Rooster's ass. You look like you're about to kick some ass right now, Glenn. Texas needs it. How do you feel? Look, Texas needs it. Here we go. Here we go. There it is. That's what I'm telling. Look, I, I, I throw on your outfit. Good things start happening. We throw on your outfit as well. AJ has a question for you. Yeah. I do. When you're watching this game, how worried are you right now? 27-20. You guys are down, but you have the ball driving. You're pretty confident. Texas is a fourth quarter team. We always have been. We are going to finish this game. We are going to leave this stadium with our heads held high. I'm feeling good. You've been working out. You look good. Uh, I was about to say the same about you, man. We shouldn't make this about us right now. <laughs> My name is on this show. <laughs> the $100 million man. No, 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 no. No, but you look amazing right now. Oh, you been getting joked, the job, you know? You know, just, uh, you know, there's an actor strike right now. There's not much else to do. Speaking of, Ty has a question for you in that department. Yeah, Hangman, just curious. Um, you know, obviously the game, the tradition, everything going on here is unbelievable, but when you see those Harriers fly over, is that oh. the only thing you're thinking about? You just, your trigger finger and just thinking, hey, I got to get back to the cockpit. And you know, when I see a flyover, I'm not thinking about air to air combat. I'm just, uh, I'm fully stoked. The guys that did the flyover, uh, I flew with them in Lemoore. So After it's always play, really cool to see friends uh, on the field, you know, on the sidelines. Oh, the football gods are turning back in your favor, Glenn. Oh. Man. You throw in a tank top, good things start happening. I get your whole thing now. Yeah, this is my life. You're kind of experiencing it right now. Darius has a question for you, Glenn. Hey, Hangman, we're big manifestations. So, so right now, down seven, how do you see this thing playing out for your Texas Longhorns? I mean, the, the thing about Texas, they got all these offensive weapons. Yep. We are able to throw it downfield in every single way. Once they throw in Whittington, once they throw in Cook, yep. we got Sanders, we got we got all these guys. This is going to happen. Yep. I promise. This is, I'm feeling, feeling very good. We're happy that you're joining us right now. Your vibes are always immaculate. What's the day-to-day -day look like for you right now than just okay, lifting 13, 14 hours a day? Uh, there's a lot of drinking going on at the Texas State Fair. Okay. Uh, that's been a real good time in my life. Uh, that's about it, man. Texas football is my life. This actor strike happened at the perfect time. Oh! We needed it, Glenn. We needed it, Hangman. Connor has a question for you. Yeah, uh, hey, man, when you look at that uh, Texas sideline, there's some big old beef on there, both O-line and D-line. What are the call signs, would you say, for, you know, maybe Sark, maybe a guy like Alfred Collins, who's 6'8", 200,000 pounds? Sweat and Murphy. Oh, Between the two okay. of them, 600 pounds. Motion, I'm going to call that five, LB and uh, what, K K Kilo. I don't even know what that is. Kilo. I just, just lift the marathon. Kilo is a great one. I love that. Good. Hey, I like that. How'd you get your name? Uh, how do... Yeah, well. <laughs> it was a movie, man. I didn't actually. No, no. Uh, are you sure? Sure? I don't know. Yeah, we don't know. We thought that was real. Yeah. Not true. Yeah. 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 Are, are you sure? Are you sure that was a movie? That was a movie. Yeah. Glenn, he watched a documentary. Thank you. Quinn Ewers had 16 straight completions oh, before right that one. Right back to him after a drop, right back to his guy. Hey, he was two completions away from a Texas record consecutive. He had 16 straight, then that drop happens. He gets right back on the horn. What have you seen from Quinn that makes you believe we still got this? Look, Quinn's got a winning mentality. He's, he's done an amazing job at the locker room. The mentality going into this game is incredible. You never know what's gonna happen with OU. It's, 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 it's mistakes, it's unpredictable. But here we go, fourth quarter. I, I feel very good about what Quinn's about to do. Quick ball out to Whittington, he's great in space. Uh-oh. Get the ball in his hands and watch what he does with it. Nice gain of nine there on first and 10. Oh, it's first down actually. Everything's going Texas way right now, Glenn, as soon as you started talking to us. I'm feeling it, that BDE, that big Dallas energy. Oh, I'm feeling oh, it today, oh, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. We knew that's where you're going. So that was yeah, I didn't for. think that's where you were. Yeah, yeah, you didn't think that. That's what Texas needed That's in a bad way. Big play. Play. Big play. Oh, big play. In a bad way. It's on. Let's it's go. on. This is a fourth quarter now. It's oh. a fourth quarter now. We're 
fourth quarter team, right? That's what you said fourth earlier. Quarter. I'm telling you guys, Hangman doesn't make mistakes. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> <No. laughs> He has been a dog all what a afternoon. Cut. Jonathan Brooks? Yeah, oh yeah. First guy has not got him down all day. He knew for a fact. He didn't even look at that last guy. How so you can remember, they lose Bijan after last season. Yep. Bijan was their guy. The run game was still good. They just yep. didn't know who it was going to be. Brooks averaging over 160 yards the last three weeks. Just ties it up late in the fourth with Glenn Powell, front row. We're going to get to a break. What will Dylan Gabriel in Oklahoma do now? The Red River rivalry is becoming the Red River shootout again. There's more on the other side. Welcome back to the Red River rivalry here. That's Glenn Powell, also known as Hangman, celebrating a Jonathan Brooks touchdown right in his face. McConaughey lost his mind as well. Texas, Oklahoma tied with six minutes left in the fourth quarter. Hangman continues to join us here on the Texas side of the Cotton Bowl. This thing's sweet. You've been coming this your whole life, Glenn? This is Christmas. This is Christmas for me every year. I gotta say, I, I, I rarely miss a Texas OU game. My grandparents went to Texas. My parents went to Texas. My cousins, my sisters. Here did we you, are. Did you ever fire that pigskin ball? I fired that pigskin back in high school. There's oh, no way I played oh. Texas. <laughs> a little self-awareness out of good yeah, man. I'm humble, man. I'm humble, man. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. First. All right, we got some cramping potentially happening on the Texas sideline. It is hot down here. You're from Texas, born and raised in Austin? Born and raised in Austin, 2005. I danced at the foot of the tower at the national championship. Oh. Been hanging out with uh, Vince Young, Jamal Charles down there. I'm living my childhood oh. dream right now. Glenn Powell, Westwood High School, 2004, top row. Look at the hands. Look, look at those big pads and that tiny head. Nobody knew when you took that picture that you could actually go on to save the United States of America. <laughs> Thank you, Hangman. Thank, Thank you, you Hangman. Hangman. What a great Hangman. documentary that was. It was a great talk. It was a great talk. I've watched those last 40 minutes of my life oh. probably 50 times. Set the clock. Oh, my God. There's nothing better. They set for the Red River rivalry at 27-27 in the fourth. Ground and pound again for go. Oklahoma. Texas's defense steps up. Now, last two drives, Texas' defense has done their thing. We thought they were going to do that all game. Why do you think it's taking this long, and what do you think we have for the rest? Now, there's something about the energy in here. Oklahoma got burned last year. They came in emotional. They came in upset. But Texas, they execute. And that's what we're doing right now. AJ has something for you, Hangman. Hangman, we're looking here. Third and about five. You coming after him if you're Texas? On defense, are you, are you bringing the pressure and blitzing? Are you blitzing on third and five here? Or what are you doing? Texas is relaxing. Dropped in the corner. Oh, there it is. Hey, we're we're doing that. Hey, no, we don't even need to the blitz. They're just making the mistakes for us. <laughs> <laughs> he, wasn't, he wasn't ready for it. Gabriel threw the ball before Big Fella got his hands oh, around. Big time stop again for the Texas Longhorns. Tom Diggs, Glenn Powell would love to hear from you. Yeah, hey man, I got a question for you. Who in the acting world do you think would be the best football player? You can't say the you can't say the rock. What he said? Which actor would be the best football player? Which actor would be the best football player? I would probably say the rock. I yes. think that's the same awesome. answer. <laughs> Good answer. Aside from the rock. Aside from the rock? I don't know, on that beach, I saw you guys really yeah. open up. Yeah, dogs like that football. documentary I watched? Yeah. Uh, that's really not about football, that's about flexing. That's about coconut oil and flexing. A lot There's of no this. football going on. A lot of this here I saw, yeah, Miles Keller. Yeah, a... Oh, oh, oh. That was kind of a shank pump, but got a great bounce. I'm happy that they got that off. But now, it is first and ten for the Texas Longhorns. You want to get into Heisman conversation? You want to talk about college football playoff, Quinn Ewers? Why not in the Red River rivalry? Walk your team right down this Cotton Bowl field and take the lead in late in the fourth. If there's a time to talk about the Heisman Trophy, it is right now. Five minutes left in the fourth quarter. If Quinn brings this home, I think it's a shoe in for the Heisman. This guy's <laughs> a leader. He can bring it home. Hey, two picks on the day and a fumble. Yep. But what have you done for me lately? It's the fourth it's quarter. It's all about finishing, man. It's all about finishing. First and 10, ball in the 13. Going to have to take it a long way. I've had drives that started at the six that ended with field goals. Can they do the same? Quinn Ewers with time. Play action. Takes a shot. Pass interference. Not called. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. What's that all about? These refs hate you. 
Is that what's going on, Glenn? You know, there's all this, uh, I don't know, it's like oil money or something in Oklahoma. But they figure <laughs> out how to get the cops Whoa. That's a bad missed call. That it, was clearly passing the fair. It's a bad call. Darius Butler played DB for nine years in the NFL. Even he's saying that's probably that, shouldn't Yeah, that was a bad ball, but I mean, it was a bad throw, too. Bad oh, missed call, here we bad go. underthrown throw. So, you know what, ref said we're not going to keep uh, there we go, there we go, there we go. bailing these QBs out. I like this little flat footed throw from Quinn to the left. He's got all the arm angles, Glenn. He really is. He's a, he's a total weapon. And look, he and Worthy are, are one of my favorite uh, duos to see out here. But the best part is he's got all these different outlets downfield. But and there's a John A. Mitchell. A.D. Mitchell with a big Mitchell, first down. Whittington, Cook, we got it all day. Get the ball in your playmaker's hands and see what they do with it. Encroaching here on four minutes left in the fourth quarter, 27-27. Red River rivalry, A.J. Hawk. Yeah, I like the tempo Texas has right here. Got time, too. Checks down. Great tempo. Brooks picks up six. Seven, maybe. Big 12 player of the week right there. Texas doesn't need to rush. They can systematically right? move the ball down yeah. the field. <laughs> I love you. We should have known that. That's something yeah, we hey, should have yeah. known. Yeah. That should have been on us. We should have known that. I probably could have guessed that since he ran for 200 or whatever against Kansas. That is on me, though. <laughs> First guy that's hey, got man. Him yet. He's never hey, wrong. Man. wrong. He's never wrong. <laughs> oh, ever. Three minutes and 30 seconds left. You just watch. <laughs> that's one of my favorite quotes of all time. You jumping emphatically, celebrating a touchdown, and then letting the world know that that documentary character has never been wrong. Quinn Ewers hands the ball off to the left. Had good momentum going. Now Oklahoma puts a little bit of a pause on it. AJ, tick, 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 tick here for Oklahoma as well. Absolutely. Yeah, Texas, I mean, you don't want to take any too many chances. Don't want to turn the ball over, but you want to make sure you... Continue getting first downs and hold on to this thing. Texas has all three times. Oh. And they have a first down with a perfectly timed ball to X from Quinn Ewers. I think the safety from Oklahoma is going to have to take a seat. A little helmet to helmet. Not on purpose. Uh, he's still up. He's still in there. Nah, he's somebody needs to be a yeah. teammate for this yeah. guy and say, By the way, this is the best part about Sark. Is he a great at adjusting? He's a great at adjusting. He can figure it out. Oh, shit. Texas people are booing the hell out of Cuz. He took a big shot there. Yeah. They, think, they think he's faking or something? Yeah. 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 I think, yeah. Texas fans are saying they're trying to slow they him didn't down. They see it yet. I think I can assure them he is not faking. Nope. Yeah, he can barely stand up. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. We, we, we saw that. Texas collision. people, good people. They, they don't know he couldn't stand up. That, that's just an overreaction. <laughs> uh, they were trying to be nice. I yeah. don't know what happened. Oh, another chance. No, you sucks uh, in this kid's face. Geez. Geez. No. Give him a break. break. Get getting rowdy. This is getting rowdy. It's hurt. This split crowd is still just awesome, awesome to just see. Hey, and be a part of. The energy Hot here crazy. is insane. Connor got some real heat over there. He gave horns down to, to a couple Texas fans. They wanted, to, they wanted to come over the barrier and kill him. Yeah, someone said the F U word, uh, so I gave him a real slow horns down. But, you know, for the record, if I were to bet and I don't, I would bet on Texas, just saying. There we okay. go. Yeah, That's... but those people don't know that. No, they don't. Yeah. they don't. I tried to follow up with that. They they weren't listening by then. Hey, is that the governor over there? That's governor the governor right there. Governor's here. McConaughey's here. Hangman's here. We got uh, Jamal Charles here. We got Brian Arakbo here. We got Trey Young. We got Texas Legends. Trey Young. Uh, Trey Young's here. Boz is here, I believe. Yep. Boz, Boz is fit still. Boz. Joe McCoy. Tim Tebow's here. What? 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 Where? Where? Who said Lindsay that? Tim. I like Jesus I, Christ. I just he's assume he's always he's always around us. He's, he's, ride, he's riding the pirate ship outside, I think. <laughs> oh. Sack. Oklahoma. Texas has all their timeouts. 225 left. First down, get a sack. That's a big deal. Put him behind the chains, AJ. Yeah, get him behind the chains, trying to play catch up here. Wait, gonna have about second 13 or something, it looks like. If you can get another negative yardage player, just hold him to the line of scrimmage. Put him in third and long and have the biggest play of the game pop up here. Glenn, how'd you guys let Stutzman not be a Texas Longhorn, number 28 for Oklahoma? He's a dog. I tell you, it's, it's, it's the raspberry seed in my wisdom to, to watch <laughs> amazing Texas players go to Oklahoma. Oklahoma, it makes me so sad. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. shook himself out of his shoes, Glenn. He's still feeling good, though. Yeah, it's late no, no, in the no. game. X got the juice. Let's get the ball back to him. Too fast for Nike, man. Too fast for Nike. Third nine, 145 left. Ball in 34. Would be a 52-yard field goal attempt from here. 
Sanders back on the field. Feels like Hardy, the obviously. Feels like the winds died down a little bit too. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. gotten real hot, real stale. Might be these flight suits. Yeah. I don't know how yeah. you guys are not talking. I'm really loving the pad outfit now. This is the the flight suits are not as ideal in Texas weather as. Do you the, always uh, wear a chain, or was that for today? That's just you, man. It looks sweet. It looks sweet. You should think about it. I'm keeping this for Halloween. <laughs> okay, first time or second time I'll use my Oklahoma was at Texas. Uh, Oklahoma took that one, I think. Yeah. So that's our second time out taken. They have one left if they were to get the ball back here. Dylan Gabriel, veteran, though, he can operate in a two minute operation. Two more seconds have been added to the clock from the ref. Got to get at least enough yardage to get into reasonable field goal distance here, Glenn. Thank you. I think we got it, man. I think we got it. Why don't you go it. take the snap? Just make it happen. Just get out there. You could. Go. I'm talking to the guy right now. No, no, I'm not the guy. That, that's uh. That's you. That's you. Ty, what do we think happens here on this play? Well, I don't know, Pat, because I'll tell you what. You said 52 yard, give or take right now. I mean, Texas has been very good on third and seven and longer this year, but I don't know if I, I want to settle with, you know, getting 50, a 52 yarder to, to go ahead here. I think you've got to get at least, you know, you obviously want the first down, but you've got to get at least about five yards here. AJ, were you asking the coaching staffs what their line was, how far the kicker can make it, or now in pregame? I did not get to that uh, Thanks. In pregame. Thanks. How about you, Glenn? Did you ask Sark? Now, you know what? Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Get a field. Get a field. Oh, yeah, hey, what are you getting there? He gained about five? That's going to be interesting. That's about four or five. Last time out used by Oklahoma there. Now, Texas has a great history of kickers. Oh, it's been been really good at recruiting kickers, so we'll see. Gusty I'm being now. told in pregame he hit from 49 with relative ease. Auburn. Hey. He did miss a couple kicks last week, though, which is not normal. That one down there was, what, 45? Yeah. I said he probably, he probably had it 10 yards there. Okay, Ooh. so he has it. Now, what is the wind going this way versus going that way? Feels like it's gotten hotter and less windy. Are you going to manifest a make for old cuz here? Hangman. Look, uh, Hangman's putting out the good vibes. You know what I say? If I find a target, I hit a target. Ooh. I feel the same way about Texas. <laughs> Let's go. Hangman's never wrong. I need you to operate all the time as if you were Hang. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> had no idea the uh, Top Gun sequel was happening right now. No, yeah. no, I'm saying that. No, yeah. I'm saying that. No, I'm saying that. Uh, we appreciate you joining us, man. That's You're a super awesome. cool guy, as is McConaughey. You Texas folks are good people. It does feel like there's a common trend. It's like incredibly cool of Texas people. You feel that? You know, I'll never be McConaughey, but I'll be his deputy, man. I'll, I mean, he's, uh, I'm, I'm happy to join the Texas sidelines. It's a dream come true. Literally, this is all I've ever wanted to Oh, do. my God. Yeah, how about you? Getting... Whoa. Hey, all oh, here we go. Back on Fourth the field, and four, baby. ball to 29. Would have been a 47-yarder. Confusion on defense. Confusion on defense. Stutzman's okay. got the boys running all over the place. A little bit of motion adds to the confusion. Another one. Bump it. Zone. Time out of Time out, Texas. Texas. Maybe they're just trying to see if we can get him yeah. off sides. Yeah. Yeah. Four, maybe get a first down. Almost eight. Almost had him, too, but that left tackle looked like he almost. I don't mind that at all. No. The risk reward there, very good. You get him jump off sides, you have a first down, you can blow, uh, bleed the clock all the way out. Yeah. If they don't, who cares? We'll waste one of our timeouts. A minute something left, we still got two. I like the move. Absolutely. And as a defense, hopefully, we're in that huddle. Hey, earmuffs, earmuffs. Don't jump. Watch the damn ball. So good job by both sides there. Good execution now. Just got to make a big field goal. Breeze is coming this way if they were to go kick this ball. It feels like they are. Sark told him, I always have your back because he had a little bit of a struggle kicking the ball over the last couple weeks. It is not his norm. This kid is a great kicker. Now, Red River rivalry where Dicker the kicker was born after making a game winner. Can Auburn bury home? This is where men are made, right A here. 47-yarder to take the lead with 122 left. Breeze going from his left to right. has taken a three-point lead. It's those types of kicks that teams that aren't going to go on it miss. That one goes right down the pipe. Absolutely murdered. A thing of beauty, Glenn. 
You know what they always say is pressure is a privilege, and that man is a privilege. <laughs> that right. was awesome to watch. Sarkeesian, I got a chance to hear him talk to the team beforehand. He was mic'd up on game day. And he was going around to all his players thinking about how cool is this that we get to do this? You've earned this. This is what you come to Texas for. Talk to his kicker. I got your back no matter what. Just lifting up his whole team. And then whenever you need something big with the wind picking up, he comes through for you. What a moment for Texas football right there. Huge, man. That's a no doubt. That's great coaching, man. Just knowing he has confidence in you. And I've never been a kicker and been in that moment where it's just me, but even as a corner or another position, knowing your play call or your head coach got your back regardless, you can go out there and just do your thing. That's what it's about. Every Texas player I've ever talked to, they always focus on OU. It's all about OU. And in this moment, a minute and 17 seconds left. Let's hey, finish the job, hey, boys. Hey, Let's finish the job. Are you job. nervous now? Now we got a little nerves? Am I nervous? No. <laughs> cool as people. Hey, I'm yeah. not nervous. This guy's been losing for two months. Are you taking off nervous? 117, no timeouts. is what Dylan Gabriel will have. That's a touchback. That's a big ball. That dude just kicked that ball 90 yards. <laughs> Here we go. First and 10 at the 25. Here we go. Darius, what are you doing? You're going to start this drive with no timeouts. No timeouts. You've got to get one downfield. You've got to try to play the play. Maybe a dagger out, clear it out, hit it big in the middle of the field. Dylan Gabriel has been here before. Gabriel has been here before, so this moment is not too big for him. This moment's starting to feel a little bit too big for me. This is awesome. Wow. AJ, they have time to operate in the middle of the field still. Even though they don't have timeouts, they got enough time. They do. Just time. don't take a sack. No, do not take a sack. Especially on a long developing play. Yep. Anticipate a two high shell here. Motion. Gabriel. Middle Strike the stoops. Go. Gonna have to get on it. Clock stops because it's under two minutes. Old school college football rules until the chains are reset. We are back. Clock winding. Ball snap. Dylan Gabriel. A little oh, bit of a I duck. Completion to Who breaks the tackle, gets out of bound. Clock wow. will stop one minute. They are already past half. Hangman's got to be feeling a little bit of heat right now. Uh, you know, I believe in my defense. I believe in my defense. We're going to be good. We're going to be good. I got to say, Gabriel has had a hell of a game. He's that got that left-handed devil throw. It's okay. <laughs> to figure it out. Come on, come on, take it. He also has over 100. Oh! Oh, oh, he's going to be dumping off the stoops. They're now in field goal range. Ah, ah. Oklahoma can tie it with a field goal and obviously win it with a touchdown. 50 seconds left. Clock will start on the chains being set. Dylan Gabriel running tempo right down the field. Shotgun, pump fake. Looks right, then to his left. Oh, that's Slings it, incompletion. Now we all that's take it. a breather. That's got to be a wow. fly. Yeah, yep. He's all over. Wow. Double move. Never let the receiver wow. play. Wow. Oh, boy. Hey, man. Uh-oh. There was one over here the refs didn't call. Then that one they do call. What's that all about? Let's just wait. Like, I'm telling you, it's this oil money is coming. <laughs> but I guess Texas and Oklahoma both have oil money. I'd so say so. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. That'll be half the distance, right? Now we're first and goal from the 10. Oklahoma's thinking touchdown only. Oh, yeah, absolutely. yes. Absolutely. 42 seconds. Texas still has two timeouts. So, if Oklahoma was to score quick here, Texas would still have time to be able to answer. Texas is pretty good from the red zone. Oklahoma's amazing from the red zone. We'll see what happens here. Inside the 10, Dylan Gabriel. Oos looks like he's been there before. Oh, shut him down, shut him down. Woo! Clock is going to run. Big stop, big stop. 30 seconds left. Oklahoma down three. Should Second and four. Should Texas be calling a timeout after that? I, you know, they there's about 400 different ways to play this. Dylan Gabriel in the pocket, throws it away. Rushed for over 100 yards, has thrown the ball all over the yard, 
And when his team needed it, walked right down the field with no timeouts and scored a touchdown against a great Texas defense, AJ. This dude's moxie in the pocket is off the charts. Look, he doesn't have happy feet at all. Mm -hmm. Super confident, super calm, and then he's got that lightning quick release. It'll drop it down, throw from any angle. Beautiful thing right there. He has 285 drop. yards passing, 112 yards Jeez. rushing. Wow. Dylan Gabriel has made quite a name for himself at this year's Red River rivalry as all of Oklahoma can sense that golden cap coming back to Norman. Uh-oh. Pat, you better shut your mouth right now. <laughs> <laughs> the moment was not too big for Dylan Gabriel. Like AJ said, man, standing that mess. 15 seconds. Delivering that. He didn't even blink. Wow. Whole, it just boom, 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 precision. Pat, is this the one time you would fair catch it? Would you rather have the kick return or would you rather have your offense set up? So it's what their offense just did. Like, if there was no offense happening, yeah. like, run it. But with Quinn Ewers and what they were able to yeah. do, let's get the ball back in his hands and take some shots. Two timeouts, so technically you probably have what? Three Please. plays? Three plays. Three. three plays? Yeah. Might be able to have. Hey. D-Butt doesn't think it's three plays. Hey, maybe, no, no, three, hey. Yeah, three plays, but it's tough. D-Butt right. maybe underthrow a deep ball, get a P.I. early. Maybe yeah, try get the but ball. it's not the league, though. What is it, 15 yards? Yeah, it's yeah, not it's spot foul. Like, spot foul in the league, that's what you do. Yeah, yeah. yeah, maybe Jesus Christ plays wide receiver for a play. I mean, this game, <laughs> this game's it's possible. over. I like <laughs> Amen, but this game's over. I'm hey, that's the same thing. Easy. Though, when Hangman True. Was, yeah, this is, this okay? is what I love about this game. Anything can happen. That's right. I get your odds, man. I get your odds, but never believe in the odds. That's right. Screw your odds. We're big anti analytics guys yeah. <laughs> hey, don't you worry about that here we go 15 seconds left in the red river shootout 34 30 what a game from oklahoma oh well Tex oh no, no. Out of touchback oh, oh my god oh, how, ner boy. how nervous are you if you have so a ball if you kick a ball like that feel that thing a little bit fat first and 10 from 25 two timeouts 15 seconds Gonna have to find a lot of yardage quick. With you, you're thinking we get to Winnington? Winnington seems to be the guy that has been able to extend plays the most for Texas today. I gotta say, Winnington has converted when he's given the ball. I feel I feel good about Win Winnington. I feel good about Worthy. I think those are our two targets right now. All right, Quinn. <laughs> All right. Hey. Not a lot of time. Good luck. Need a lot of work. What a game thus far. Will it become an instant forever classic? with what Quinn Ewers is about to do. Shotgun, over center, to Whittington. Makes down. one person miss, two people miss. Get down. Still scrambling, Get down. seven Number. seconds. Tick, 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 tick. Clock stops with first down. Timeout as well from Texas. All right, we got some yardages. Six seconds, you might be able to throw a quick one out of bounds so you can get a little bit closer for the hill now. Yeah, that's what you want, isn't it? This is all odds against you, this is a rivalry game. Stranger things have happened. I saw you break down some tape today on game day. I saw Cal Stanford. I saw some other wild stuff happen. So, hey, it's the moment, right? You know here. what's happening right now? Uh, Rooster and Matt. <laughs> That's exactly right. Right into the sun. Stalling out the sky. Yep. They got no hope. No hope at and all. guess what happens? Guess who shot off the deck? Who? Hey. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. That's what they need right now. That's yeah. what they need. They need Hangman showing up out of nowhere. Saving they do. Movie. That's right. Saving the United States. What a moment. You are, this is for the U.S. of A. right now. Have you watched it back? Have you it back? <laughs> Not like a year. You oh, should. come on. Come on. Just do it. You're so awesome. Thanks for your service, hey, man. <laughs> now, Quinn Ewers is staring down. A nice prevent defense. Four guys stacked out, back. Out, out. They will gain a couple yards, get out of bounds. Smart. Get it closer for a Hail Mary. Uh oh, hit right at us, Hangman. Yeah, it's going to be yep. right at us. Yeah, we're going to right here. You better might, watch yourself. Yeah. It might be That's over it. here. So you're either going to get a goal post or everybody runs towards the goal post. This is awesome. Here we go. It all comes down to this. Three to one side. First and 10 on the 44 yard line. line. Need a Hail Mary to beat Oklahoma in the Red River rivalry. Hangman, any final thoughts you'd like to give for the people of Texas that are watching along at home? Get your horns up. Yep. All right. Hell yeah. Boom. Well said. All right. Get them up. And on the other side of that, you go ahead and put those horns down. Feels like this is a long <laughs> shot, but we shall see. <laughs> Couldn't have asked for a better game. Though. Are you kidding me? Great game. 30, 64 yeah. points? Unbelievable. What was the over under? 49 and a half? Yeah. Way over. Yeah. Yeah. What was the line? This one always goes over. Uh, two, six, and a, six, two and a half? Seven. 
Six and a half, I think. Mm, damn. Two and a half was the Bama one. It got down there. LSU has come back. They are up on Mizzou. Mizzou had an early lead. Ohio State has come back. Maryland had an early lead on Ohio State. They are up right now. LSU ended up beating Missouri. Congrats to Brian Kelly getting the boys back. Do we know the final on that one? I uh, do not know the final, <laughs> but I do know that Bevo has been shown on the big screen. 49-39 LSU Mizzou, okay. no cover. Bevo's ass is right here. There's some cops right behind us. Is Texas going to be able to steal this Red River rivalry? Get the jump ball over here. This is where you really need to take me, Sanders. He's not 100%, but he's a big ball. Still bringing pressure. Quinn Ewers moving. Throws yeah. it up. It's there. It's going to make it. Bat it. Ball oh. down. Oklahoma has won the Red River robbery here in the Cotton Bowl. Glenn Powell goes home as a very handsome man, yep. but certainly yeah, depressed with his Texas team. And congrats to the Sooners. We appreciate you. Appreciate you guys. You need to wear this more often. Game. You know what? Appreciate the outfit, man. Thanks for the tag. Hey, good luck to see you, man. Well, we appreciate you. Oklahoma is celebrating on the field, letting everybody know what. What was that? What? You said what? What? 60 here. Guyton is walking around Texas, staring at every <laughs> single one of these Longhorns yeah. fans, saying what? <laughs> What? Oh, okay. He's trying to ban yeah. member, I think. Yep. <laughs> That's what happens in these rivalry games. Tone, we'll start with you. What will you take away from this Red River rivalry? First ever time being here. You couldn't have asked for more. It was honestly like the coolest environment. Incredible game. I think I want to come back every year. Connor, your thoughts on the Texas-Oklahoma experience? I'm a dumbass. Not much thoughts, but we always talk about Texas being back. Oklahoma might be back now. Right? Ty Schmidt, your thoughts? We've been to some incredible places, Pat. This feels like it's college football. Yeah. This, this venue is why college football football was created unbelievable Darius what did you learn about these two teams I mean, here today what you learn about Oklahoma that maybe says why not gutsy they have the guys in the locker room to go all the way first and foremost and then second you win this game you get to go celebrate with your fans and come down and talk trash to the other fans doesn't get much better than this AJ the trenches really did it for Oklahoma today I think that'll be the story that doesn't really get talked about enough Dylan Gabriel going for 280 running for 112 obviously going to be chatted the trenches in the defense for Oklahoma really dominated in the first half and continued to ring true throughout it. Yeah, they really did. When Oklahoma's defense needed a big stop, they came up with it. And this game exceeded all expectations for myself, that's for sure. We got a chance to hang out with Matthew McConaughey, what? Trey Young, what? Baker Mayfield, what? and Hangman. What? And the SEC Commission. Oh, Greg Sankey. Yep. Yikes. We appreciated his time. <laughs> yes, we did. Of course. We had some excited. great moments today. We got highlights. Ben Ward and everybody in the truck that worked with us were thankful. Everybody behind the scenes, you're the best. We'll be back for Overreaction Monday. Goodbye.